we're, 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 we're ready to go. Okay. So, does anyone want to do the recap? You're assuming I remember. Do I have notes? <laughs> <laughs> At least sort of. Our stuff happened. Uh, yeah, you went into the mines. We came out of the you mines. Did, yeah, you went into the mines, came out of the mines. Uh, S made the deal for the barrels at a higher yeah. rate thanks to Jess's sassiness. Excellent rate. <laughs> we got a beautiful rate. Mm -hmm. Two yeah. for one rate. <clears throat> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. We got seven barrels to start out. That's pretty decent. Mm -hmm. What else oh, were, yeah. were we wanting to do? In town? There was something we were... I know there was that one weird undead thing that came out. Not came out. That mm -hmm. was moving around. Mm -hmm. That didn't come out. As far as you know. That anyone seems to have noticed. Or be yeah. unwary of. <laughs> yep. And you also know about missing miners as well. Well, I mean, that's why you don't go out of the house if you're under 18. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll be here all night. <laughs> it's my stream. <laughs> you know, it killed... How many was it? Two uh, or three dwarves that were not meant to... At least they weren't miners. Well, hi, Dark yeah, Wolf. Dark Wolf says, Ah, shit. D&D. &D. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, oh, yeah. Welcome to the Bakery of Dreams, my friend. Yes. <clears throat> spicy. You it's can... so much spicier in the little cup than it is in the... Probably because it's more condensed. Pour oh, your beer in it. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> That'll change the palate. Definitely, but not for the better. I hear a yes from Fubar. It doesn't come up in your headphones, but it's coming up in mine. He says, yeah, do it. No. No, thanks. Uh... <laughs> Pour my beer into my cup noodles. <laughs> gross. See, I heard do it. I heard gross, and I'm agreeing with that. Okay. You're the one who bought the cup of noodles. God. <laughs> no. So, you got a few things to do. You can explore around the town. I also have to hit it marks, so you are waking up after your rest. Um, you do notice that the bar seems a little more empty than normal. You have no idea the time, by the way. Hmm. And the barkeep is not there. Oh, I know Dark Wolf, because anytime Sai comes into the chat, he's like, uh, when's D&D? &D? He doesn't say hi. He just says, when's D&D? &D? <laughs> uh, what do you guys want to do? Like, oh, this is a suspiciously empty tavern. Very suspiciously empty. Usually there's fighting and broken tables by now. Can we hear anything going on outside? No. You can't hear anything out there. <sighs> Pick my head out. Did you get your head out the door? Yeah. Seems oddly quiet. Uh, hold on. <coughs> hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna do something. Let's see. I wanna use one of my <coughs> non-combat abilities. Alright. <coughs> I guess I'll do <coughs> some invisibility so we can go outside. Invisibility? Yep. Okay. Just so I can see what's going on, cast. Okay. You cast it on yourself. Oh, you cast it twice. Oops. I didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> Just do the first one. All right. well, I, I, I know about that one. Does it okay, take so... off more mana from my spell sheet if I clicked it twice? No. Or is it okay? Uh, yeah, you might have. Check your second level. Let me double check. It might have taken a second spell slot up. It did. Yeah, it did. Click. Yeah, just, there we go. Click, yeah, just click it so it only did it once. Okay. Right. Yeah, do that and I'm going to uh, uh, look outside. 
Um, I tell the group what I'm doing. Stealth uh, with advantage, because you're you know, constantly trying to be quiet and stuff like that. This is just for prosperity. 18. Okay. 17? So 17. 17. Yeah. Okay. So, you start to go out. You look around. Everything seems empty. <clears throat> uh, perception check. All of us? Uh, no, just David. Oh. For this one. Oh, David rolling good. <laughs> it's because of this natural, uh, but... cream soda I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are hearing the clanking of heavy armor moving away from you. Hmm. Okay. And this place is a lot more echoey, so it's kind of easy to see where it is coming from. <laughs> so you look down, and you're right where Kirby is right now, and you see a figure going toward the gate of the mines. And I go back in and I tell the group what I saw. Okay. And heard. What do you guys want to do? Well, tell us. Hey guys, there was a clank. Right. There was a man in armor, a shadowy figure that was heading towards the entrance of the mine. Let's get him. All right. Get him. <laughs> get him. Get him. You guys all want to go after him? Or should we investigate Ooh. the town as we go? <laughs> to the mine. I definitely want to investigate the town. Okay. Okay. Guess that's what we're doing. Alright, so you, know, you are back out. You go out. Uh, are you doing anything to spell your invisibility or are you staying invisible? Uh... I'll dispel it if we're going as a group anyway. Alright. Just had to ask just in case. Mm -hmm. I want to try to be quiet. Not super stealthy, but very, very quiet. Okay. Um, well, I gotta do this. If you guys are gonna, uh, gonna do that, Peyton's gonna try to uh, follow suit. We should really have a we spell that silences her movements. Like a hush kind of I'm thing. sure there is one, actually. I don't know if we have access to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it didn't roll properly. Hey, 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 Nick. Hey, Nick. Can you not roll zeros? Hey, she a, Jack. She rolled a, uh, she rolled a five. <laughs> Stealth king over here. He could be over there shouting. No one would hear him. Yeah, she rolled a here, five, not a zero. In fact, it's definitely kind of impossible to for her to roll a, z a zero. Lowest she can roll is a three. Okay, so what's she actually rolling? She rolled a five. five. Okay. I didn't, I didn't hear I was offering my yeah. soda. Thank you. So, it's actually really good. She's going to stay a bit behind you guys. Since she, you know, she can hear that she's not able to keep herself from clanking. <laughs> I'll just do true hand and lift her everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so you have. Uh, let me see. You guys have control of Kirby. You can move him around. I'm gonna search this alley. The alleyway. Okay. You see a sleeping dwarf. Go bug him. <clears throat> Sleeping dwarf? Yeah, he just looks like he's asleep. Check the dumpster. Check the dumpster? <laughs> uh, you don't see a dumpster here. I'd be weird if there was. Yeah. Maybe it's the dwarf's name. He said, check dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dwarf. That'd be bad. I'd feel bad for that dwarf if that was actually his name. His name is Dumpster Stonebladder. Oh, oh my gosh. That's awesome. Thank you. 
Jack uh, Robb's dumpster stone bladder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, are you waking him up? Probably no. should. No? <laughs> Alright. Alright. So we'll just keep looking through town and see if there's other people. <laughs> Is there anybody else sleeping in the streets out in the open? Yes. This mofo stole my sleep spell. Interesting. Except he did it to the entire town. And you can see this person is going close to the the door. Can we tell anything about him from uh, this distance? Um, this is quite a big distance, but I'll give you a perception check. Nailed it. 21! Ooh! <laughs> nice. This stuff is so good, but so spicy. <laughs> you can tell you're <laughs> suffering. <laughs> All the... <sighs> so, Jack, what about you? Didn't she a 21? Yeah, you can still get a good one. You get a 22. Beat it, Jack. Just beat it. Right. Close. No. <laughs> Just well, beat Um, You can tell this person is definitely in heavy armor. They have no weapons to be seen, at least. Are they about the size of a dwarf or a normal person or taller? They're about the size of the, of David. This is their avatar. They don't actually look like that, do they? Yes, they do. They do? Okay, I wanted to make sure, because we don't look like Kirby, so I wanted to make sure. Yeah, you, you do not look like Kirby. <laughs> that is what you see the armor as. He has wings and everything? Yep. Okay. They so it looks he's... like he's a dragonborn. Yep. Oh, Interesting. And I'll be able to talk to him. Hmm. I want to use an Arcana check on the uh, someone sleeping in the street. All right. Do an Arcana check. <laughs> <laughs> They're asleep. <laughs> You you smell the uh, you smell alcohol. You're you're pretty sure they just passed out from drinking. <laughs> that just sounds like dwarves. Yeah, they're, they're, it's just a dwarf. This this it's normal. You That's what you think right now. <laughs> so I'm trying to use my abilities, oh. guys. I'm trying. To. Oh. Rub it in. Why don't you? <laughs> Still 22. Shouldn't let you drink my soda. You stole all my RNG. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> um. Well, this is normally about Arcana is normally with like trying to get the. Oh, I know. Yeah, you can kind of tell that this is based off a of sleep spell. Okay. okay. So, wait, so is I Arcana... can tell it definitely seems more like a sleep spell than a natural sleep, essentially. Yes. Okay. So is Arcana but... not magic knowledge? It's magical, it's magical knowledge, knowledge, but it's not detect magic. That's a specific Well, spell. no, but it's more like looking for signs that you would notice from your studies of magic, oh, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming my yeah, natural to make sure I'm using it right. Get. I mean, yeah. I am a mage, yeah. so I should be able to... <coughs> but, like, being able to see, like, exactly what it is, you can base off of evidence of what you see, like, <laughs> they're asleep, they don't seem... They seem to be asleep and, like, as they just were standing there... Stuff like that that point toward a sleep spell instead of, oh, they just fell asleep there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to roll one. Okay, one of them is safe. They didn't fall, uh, fall asleep on the sword. That's good. good. Wait, what's but this? yeah, you can tell that the sleep spell is close to ending. Okay. So we should probably uh, go after the guy, huh? Yeah, I'll probably start walking. Follow At least in that direction. Yeah. Okay. So you got to take it down, and you see this person disappear through the uh, through the door. Hmm. 
and for the sake of just time and time with that, you guys make it down there. You notice that the, you know, the guards are starting to wake up at end this time. We're by the door now? Have, yeah, you can go through the door. <coughs> like the mine door? Yeah. I'm not so sure because Kirby's still... Yeah, I, you know, I was doing for the sake of time. I was just <laughs> going around. So? Do we want to wait for anybody to wake up to talk to them? Or do we want to just follow the dude? Jack, steal from these guards before they wake up and blame it on the guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect time to do a robbery. The entire town is asleep. Yeah. yeah. He's not wrong. That's what Cutie would do. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there it is! 22! We're rolling oh tonight. Oh my god. Woo. Uh, what are you looking for? Are you looking for a coin? Or... <laughs> what are you trying to get? Orders. Orders? He said like quarters. Quarters? Okay. Oh, they don't have quarters. Like, Jack rolled so well, he could have reached in, pulled out their liver, and they wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> you find about 40 a copper worth of a copper bar. Okay. <clears throat> Good job, Jack. Yeah. His hands are so smooth, they thought it was a, a light breeze. Oh, by the way, Nick, I was on Reddit today, and on the popular, uh, you know, feed, um, mm -hmm. they had, uh, you know, a D&D, &D, the D&D &D yeah. subreddit up, and they said, there was someone asking, like, what, like, was a bad DM experience, mm. and I kid you not, the person that, their example was, uh... They were talking to a dragonborn character, a dragon, I think, mm -hmm. and one of the characters knew how to speak dragon, but the DM, DM was like, you may be able to speak to him, doesn't mean you can understand him. <laughs> Even though he knows how to speak dragon. Oh my god. I was like, what? I thought you'd appreciate that, because it was pretty that lame. Is, that one, yeah. That it's pretty that terrible. Yeah. That was horrible. Like, unless the dragon is speaking ancient draconic. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, if it's the only ancient way. draconic, that that's a different. That's a whole different mm -hmm. language. When's this thing gonna load? Yeah. There it is. I was like, where am yeah. I? It, it takes a second to load this one in, plus the. Uh, it's plus a large map. Dark. There we are. Okay. It's a dark. Oh Jesus! What happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's a dark Jesus. You also know, like, none of the dwarves that are in here right now are are in here right now. I better take that one away than on the map. Yeah, like, and the one on the map is not there. So I don't have to, like, reveal them and unreveal them you know, later. Basically, you, right now you're alone, and they were... You can guess they were all going in for a break. Hmm. Okay. So so. Oh, look at that. Jack's already stealthing. Let's get that ninja icon. <laughs> uh, hold on. Where's that icon? I'll give, I'll give Peyton a, a, a second chance to try to get better at stealth. Nope. Where did you see it? Oh, there it is. Okay. She got a. She got two better than uh, one better than she did last time. Actually, good job, Peyton. <laughs> Yummy. We'll follow you, Jack. You're 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 the scout. What? And you're the stealthy boy. Jack rolled investigation. Okay. Uh, what are you trying to investigate for? Clues. <laughs> Crack, stuff like that. 
Mm. I use my survival no knowledge to check for tracks. <laughs> okay. Looking for a oh, hidden. Jesus. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Hidden objects? You are not finding any. You do see some ore in the, in the walls that were kind of missed. It's not a lot, but it's not really too hidden. Nick, I rolled a 21. Damn. Looking for tracks. Boom. You're able to see fresh, like, heavy footfalls. <clears throat> Like step, like footprints, or like dragging, like what kind of? Like full on steps, like they were t taking slow but quick steps. Okay, they're about six feet tall. Quick and deliberate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like they, have, they and this is they have a purpose behind what they're doing. Jack's got average perception right now. <laughs> oh. Jess, don't forget to move. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking notes. Oh, I know. I just realized. What? Both the Kenku and the Dragonborn don't have uh, dark vision, so you do need the light. It's a good thing I still got that uh, torch, right? Yeah, you still have the torch. It's okay, I created an illusion of a torch. <laughs> That's providing the light, though. You don't know! It's dark in here! No. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a funny thing to say to a dwarf. Like, right. You don't know this the torch is not providing light? <laughs> and he's just like, w walk that way, and you start walking smack into the wall. <laughs> right. Ow. That'd be freaking hilarious. Like, how dare you, you filthy rock eater. <laughs> Go back and enjoy a mud pie, dwarf. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Elves are better. Hashtag. Okay. Okay, what? He's setting up no. confrontation. Yeah, I'm setting up things. I'm getting ready to bone our buttholes. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you went from that wall to there, just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jess, you should be leading the way, you can see. I'm right in the middle of everybody. Are you just telling us where to go? Me? You're the one following the tracks. I know, but we can't see. I have the light. You look for the tracks. I follow that. But you can see, so you could just say yes. No. Like, hey guys, there's a wall there. <laughs> so he's following the tracks, and I'm following him. We are following the tracks, right? That's what we're doing? Yes. And we're going the right way? Yes, you are. <clears throat> I'm going to sprint to this wall. <laughs> okay. How high is the cave? Hi. How high? Hi, how are you? <laughs> yep. 15 feet? This, this cave is shorter yeah. than Kuma. <laughs> oh, Kuma couldn't fit! <laughs> Freaking love One Piece. 
and search for the crap line. Freaking love One Piece. Freaking freaking One Piece. Yeah. San Luffy take down Do Flamingo. Yeah. Okay. Oops. You go first around the corner. Me? Yeah. <laughs> You're the stealth guy. I can't even I see. I don't want to get caught by that stupid testicle light. I don't want him teabagging me neither. Testicular light. <laughs> It's a very technical term. That's the whole life. Because <laughs> I'm the one who saved you from it. That's true, and I appreciate that. But remember, they take different shapes, so we don't know what we're going to be looking for. Uh, they oh. generally stick with the Sakaito Slagmite. Boom! How far can I see? Uh, as far as her light is. So... Out there? Yep. You see 40 feet here? in front of you. Yep. Yep. To that... This middle yep. line, basically. Where'd he go? <laughs> He's walking! Yeah. You're following the tracks. We're almost at the oh. Cheeto ring. I'm faster than him. Yeah, you're you're able to go faster, but you're not able to see fast in the light. Crap, which one's mine? You can zoom in. Not if I'm trying to figure out. Investigate. You're investigating it? That again? I mean, you know what that is. It was, a... it was created by the other girl. I want to find another ring. You want, <laughs> you want to find another ring? <clears throat> Roll investigation check. What Jack wants to know, can he take this ring, shrink it, and then wear it? 20. 20? Ooh. Not 20. Natural 20. <laughs> With no booster, yeah. Damn. What's up, Game Gun? Oh, hi. Game Gun says, Sup, David, Fubar, hi, Jess, and Lady Big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna take offense to that since I've played female characters the whole time. That's true. So. If we're counting your virtual life, then you, you would be technically a, la a lady. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna roll a, a d4. If it's an even, there's another ring. Hmm. There's another ring. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Same inscription. You gonna take it? it? Time. But it's yep. slightly different. Why? Oh. It looks like it's this person in that where the explosion was, it was iterative, so this one is a earlier design. Huh. On the inside, has an inscription that says "Bore Ring." Oh, <laughs> oh my god! No, that's on the outside, David. Oh, okay. It just says "Bore" on the outside. <laughs> this is my bore ring. You're boring. What? Yeah. Exactly. Have you seen my other ones suffer? Oh, hey, are we? Are we? Suffering. <laughs> Wait, where? We gotta go north, right? This is where the tracks are leading. Beak. <laughs> One moment. Did just trigger something? <laughs> no, actually. You're about to come into view of something. No, you said I can't see. No, I said you're about to come into view of something. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of okay. funny. Yeah, do we have anything planned tomorrow? I don't know. My parents call, I guess. 
Why? I was just wondering if we had anything planned with your parents yet. Not yet. Because I always forget. Okay, stop there. Wait, I gotta move too. <laughs> you see the a what looks to be a a, a lap of uh, a pile of leather and cloth actually turn out to be a, a weird creature with a large uh, electric spear going through it right now. Huh. And they just left it the is, spear? It's sparking right now and it's slowly decreasing in, in volume and disappearing basically. Cool. So this guy can throw electric spears. <laughs> Interesting. Either that or he's just bad with it. He can put people to sleep and he's got electric weaponry. Hmm. Sounds like a cooler version of my character. <laughs> and you're hearing whispers now. Can we discern what they're saying? Uh, Jess, you, can you understand? And with your, your eyes of the room keeper, is it only for reading? It's for reading. Okay, so you do not, unless you understand your chronic, you do not understand it. So I can tell it's draconic. Yeah, you can so I tell it's draconic. Hey, buddy. Huh? Listen. Uh, David, make a perception check. It work? Yeah. Weird. Okay. Hit the die. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, how do you want to word that you're not able to understand this? That just, you haven't used it in a while? Just have so me, uh... Maybe it's just too quiet it. and he can't quite make it out. Just have me hear part of it, like it's like a, a, a gerbil. Um, you hear a bit of it. Um, you hear wait. <clears throat> so... And then you hear a giant rock ball hit the ground, and it muffles the rest of the, uh, the uh, what the, uh, the chanting is. Do we know what direction these whispers are coming from? South. Like straight south. Yeah. Near the dragon. Mm-hmm. I share with the group. Okay. We hear. Wait. What are the words? Wake. Wake and big. Wake? Wake. Wake. <laughs> and so. Oh, I was close. <laughs> and. Uh, I'm gonna have. Uh, actually, only Jess can do this one. And when she moves up, she's gonna be give, uh, getting a, uh, a perception check. Because you can see in dark, past the light. So right there, you have a perception check. <laughs> you can see the very uh, out, uh, outer rim of a what you can guess is a spell circle on the ground. And it is starting to glow. They're trying to awaken this dragon. It would be basically impossible. Where do I see the circle? You see the circle starting right here. Oh, the spare so a spell circle. Yes. I will uh, tell the group Arcana check! Uh, you cannot see it. Yeah, but she can tell you me can. about it. You can do it. She can tell you about it, but... She can't describe the symbol. <laughs> can I do an Arcana check to figure out maybe something about what's going on? 
you can do an arcana check, and David, uh, with David helping you, I'm gonna give you advantage. Oh. Because you're, you're able to talk between each other. Oh, six. Yeah, Eldritch symbols is one of the things. Mm-hmm. Eighteen. Um, you can tell that that is a teleportation circle. Teleportation circle? Mm-hmm. Do I and know from which just... direction, or are they multi-directional? They are, yeah, they're normally single-directional based off of the symbols that are written in it. And okay. it is being activated. In which direction? It's being teleported out. Okay. What this color person... is it? What color is it? Yeah. Pick a color. Red. Red? Okay. It is glowing red right now. Cool. That seems a little more ominous. Instead of just, it's glowing beige. Nah. It's, a, it's just glowing red. Is there any insight we can glean from it being a teleportation magic circle? I would say... You know this person's about to teleport out of there, so whatever, whatever they were doing, they're done. Um, you wouldn't be able to discern where it's going. Because you need to know the glyphs itself, and they're not really... It's like a random password. It's not guaranteed to show exactly where it's coming from or going. Hmm. The, normally the person that creates the, the destination of the, uh, the circle mm-hmm. picks the, uh, the runes that make it, uh, mark that uh, teleportation circle. You guys gonna do? You also know this. It's at the tail end of being ac- activated, so it's about to teleport them out. Who's them? The person that you were following. Dragonborn guy. I want to move up to get a better look at the dude before okay. he goes off. Oh Jesus. I mean, he's going to teleport either way. Might as well figure out more about his physicality. Okay. <laughs> no sharing spare squares. <laughs> Why? Because you didn't ask for consent. And David's back. <laughs> Jess! <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you a perception check. I'll give everyone a perception check because the light in this area is kind of reflecting enough to give you a good amount of light. Yep, David uh, got a little blinded by one of the, the shiny rocks that reflected the, uh, the light and it went right in his eyes. <laughs> I got 16, Jack got 18. Okay. Um, you can see this person is about the same size as David. In heavy armor, um, they seem to be standing, have stepped away from the, the actual dragon and skeleton. Okay, so he now... had. I throw yeah. a dagger. <laughs> You're gonna throw a dagger? No, I'll throw a dart. You're gonna throw a dart? I want to see if it gets teleported with him. All right. Throw it at him or at the ground? Well. I'm going to throw it near him, so when he teleports, it'll teleport with him. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna have you do a just an attack roll to throw it that far. Okay. You're trying to hit... You're still trying to hit a target, you're just not trying to hit them. 14. 18. Hey. Okay. You manage to land it within a foot of them. <laughs> and you see them look down at it. Look at... You can very confuse. Like... The armor kind of like moves a bit more, like 
instead of just being a solid helmet, you can see it kind of moving. <laughs> by the motions of the face kind of come through. Okay. I whisper, made your eyes dart as he teleports. <laughs> um, <laughs> you do know Dragonborns don't normally have wings. Ooh. Well, isn't he a show-off, then? And Was he a demon? When... No. It is, it is, from looking at it, it is definitely still a dragon. Mm-hmm. But it's not a dragonborn. Okay. From everything that you know, it's not a dragonborn. So it's a special yeah. type of person. And... What else are you looking for, Jess and Jack? Anything. Like um. Anything that I can use to pick him out of a crowd later. Is there anything culture-wise we can uh, glean from his armor? You can tell, based off of the armor. This type of armor has not been made for a very long time. Are there any kind of special, like, engravings or markings, or...? There is special engravings, but they're too far, you're too far away to actually, like, be able to distinguish them. You can uh, distinguish them enough to notice that they remind you of Draconic, mm -hmm. but they are not. Hmm. So oh, either... <laughs> Either the draconic was based off them, or it's uh, they are based off draconic. You're not okay. sure which way it is. Just imagine the whole time we're learning this, and just hear farting behind us. <laughs> just, just, just rubbing this chair. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> actually, it is. Oh. Can you imagine? So this dragon guy, right? He hears a dart land near him. He hears a pun, and then he hears farting noises off in the distance right before he teleports. Yeah. Imagine how confusing that would be. It is very confusing. All right, so go, go ahead. It's just funny to but, think about. Yeah, it is going to the teleportation is going to complete. The circle itself is the outline of the the outer edge of the circle is going to stay in chalk, but all the symbols that were inside of it burn up and are consumed, leaving just that outer ring. Okay. It's not similar to the other thing, is it? Uh, what other thing? The, the thing. Oh, no, no, that's that's a ring created by Sai because he shot off a bunch of fireballs. Oh. Yeah, well, it, was, yeah it, it is not that type of ring. That was Sai's fault. Yeah, that has nothing to do with the actual wow, story. Wow, Sai. Actually, it wasn't wow. really Sai. It was someone else. Who was it? Wow, someone else. Let's call him out. Wow, NPC. <clears throat> Rude. It's NPC that made those rings. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. So you're free to uh, approach to see what it was doing. And you notice as soon as the light gets there, the skeleton, eh, the dragon now has its eyes glowing red. Huh. Alright. Dragon and check. And also, uh, I will also say before you did the check, the spots that you took uh, bones from it <laughs> and it disintegrated is now repaired. Hmm. <laughs> Dark Wolf, it was the guy that gave Sai his uh, ring. Arcana? Uh, how are you investigating it? Uh, I'm just looking at it. You looking at it? Yeah. Right. Traces of magic. Anything yeah. picked up. It definitely has traces of magic on it. Mm-hmm. Uh... I wish I had a class-specific role. That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, 
animal handling. <laughs> I mean, you could try. You're fully open to it. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely that poor guy. That's where that ring is. They know who it is. Dark Wolf knows who, knows who it is now. Okay. Okay, so you are trying to handle this animal. So I you touch are touching the skeleton. I touch him. David is gone. Ah! Ah! Whoops. Well, gone. You, uh, I expect yeah, that. I got teleported, didn't I? Yes. Damn it! Damn it. Everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Hurry! <laughs> Everyone touching it? I kind of have to now. Huh? <laughs> Whoops! We got animated. <laughs> I was freaking okay. Dee Dee. Like, what does this button do? <laughs> <laughs> you literally did, and I'm so glad you did it. Thanks. I'm glad my animal handling paid off. Alright, might as well. Okay, so everyone, you find yourself. I'm not going to move the map because this is going to be a one time thing. Oh. Uh, you find, as you are. As you touch the dragon and the skeleton, you get. You feel like you're being pulled into the red spot in the eye, and then you start to you know, fall for a second, and you land upright on solid ground. Looking around, you are back on the surface. Huh. You look around behind you, there's a small pool of lava, and everything in front of you looks to be mostly flat. And there's a small little embankment down. And I will have perception checks from everyone. Oh! Ooh! Everyone did good! Bang, bang, bang. Okay. So, you guys look towards where you can kind of see a sunrise, kind of. And you can see out in the distance what you can only describe as floating mountains. With giant cities on top of them. <laughs> you can see them dotted around in the distance. All, basically all around you. And you can also see, in front in front of you, as you land, the ground starting to shake and stone buildings start to push out from the ground. Uh, tell me if you need, need me to slow down so, so you can write notes. I'm getting there. Uh... <laughs> Ooh. Okay. You also notice, as you're looking around, also uh, checking yourself, each of you has a red, not a red spot, a white spot on your right hand. Hmm. And as you see in front of you, the, uh, the buildings start to rise up from the ground making a giant city of stone and walls start to form around it and a large gate forms in front of that tent and you can now see people start you know, starting to, to form in rushing towards the city And in the distance, on a distant mountain, you can see <coughs> lightning starting to strike. <laughs> so what would you guys like to do? Man, is there mm -hmm. anything we can do? Uh, you can follow the people. 
people. They seem to be running away from something. Oh. Let's look at the direction of uh, where the people are running from. Okay. You look, and you're going to see something. A large horde of creatures all flying in the air. One moment so I can actually show it. And bloop. show it to everyone. Whoa. There you go. You see those things fly and flying in the sky. Quite can I not teleport back? <laughs> you cannot teleport back. There's no, no skeleton there. Yeah. And you can see the, you know, a couple of them dive bombing at what you can guess based off of you know, basically everyone since you all know what kind of spellcasters look like. They're being you know, they're attacking spellcasters. Oh good. Oh. Lots also, of our party, so that's good. David and Jess. Mm -hmm. You are starting to feel very weird. Uh, Your magic is going <laughs> haywire right now. Huh. How big are these things? Mm, it says giant. Yeah, giant. True, but I don't know how giant. Three stories tall? <laughs> That's how, how long they are? Pretty big. Is there a horde of them? Yeah, there is a lot of them. Um, maybe we should follow the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. So, sliding down into the embankment, you uh, you make your way down to it. You can hear a very loud chanting. <laughs> and as you try to focus in to listen to what it's uh, what the words are. You can understand the words, but as soon as you're trying to understand them and the actual meaning behind them, it's like your brain and your magic clash and erase the words themselves. <laughs> so it's, it feels like your magic is preventing you from uh, from understanding what those words are. Weird. But I can understand. Translate! You can try so, translate. Oh <laughs> fuck, we're dead. <laughs> Fair. Okay, so you guys make it to the gates after a short, a little bit of running. You're able to keep away from and the giant creatures. And you manage to get into the gates themselves. As you see a group of these giant eels flying towards the actual city. <laughs> but right before they hit the, get into the city, you see them hit a type of barrier and get knocked out of the way. And you also notice around you, everyone is looking at their hand and they all have the same mark. <laughs> Not everyone, but most people have that mark. <laughs> There's one or two people that don't. Okay. What would you like to uh, talk to them about? Do they not possess the ability to do magic? No, they have the ability to do magic. They, and they're like, they're ta uh, they're talking about uh, the fact that they were lucky to get uh, to get away. So where's your mark, homie? The one that doesn't have a mark? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have you roll a d20. What? Yes, because there's a few that are right near the opening. I don't roll no d20s. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> um, If I remember right, everyone joined the guild, right? <laughs> you go up to a woman and then you turn uh, you try to get in front of her and you see the guild leader in front of you. 
<laughs> oh shit. She does not seem to recognize you, and she he dodges the question and tries to get away from you. Weird. After her. <laughs> it's up to you. That was kind of fishy. <laughs> you also notice in the distance there are. Let me double check. So I actually have the right number of temples. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Alright. What? Mm hmm. We'll wait for him to get back. I'll say how many temples there are. If you had rolled anything besides a 20, you would not have found her. Well, I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. You rolled the best outcome for that. Why am I trying to find her? No, you were just looking for people that were just, that not didn't have the mark. Why is she avoiding me? You don't know. You'll have to ask. Then ask her. You're going to ask her? I will say this is away from David at the moment when you're asking. So you can fill him in when he comes back. Um, I have no reason to talk to you. As I do not know you. I'm in the guild! What guild? The, the guild! I don't know what you're talking about. The thieves guild! She raises her eyebrow at that, and she starts to walk away again. What the hell? Jess, do something. Oh, Je and David's mic is muted, so Je Jess can't talk. Wait one sec, let me see. Yeah, I'll have to wait for her to come back. They're both Friendly. gone? Yep. They went to the bathroom together? Nah, I don't know if together, but they might have got, uh, got uh, to do something together. Both got and uh, did something. They're making an X.
What are you doing? Doing a quick roll. Why? To determine some things. What did you determine? That's for me to know. You already know. I know. <laughs> me to know, and you guys find out eventually. I'm trying to find out right now. You gotta find out in game. What are they doing? <clears throat> Welcome back. Miss anything or? Uh, Jack was trying to talk to you know, the, the, you know, the guild leader. And she does not recognize anyone. Hmm. Or what you know, you're talking about. And when he asked, uh, you know, when he said he's part of the guild. <clears throat> hmm. Do we have any questions for her that. Give us more info about why she doesn't know us. You can ask. I'm just trying to think of a good question. What year is it? What year is it? Yes. You're gonna ask her that? Yeah. Double check. Three. She's gonna say, it's, it, the year doesn't matter anymore. The, and the, and the years are ending now. The new the cycle will begin now. The end of the third age is gonna come. End of the third age? Of the third age. What age are we usually in? You don't know. We don't know our own year. We don't know our own age? No, you don't. Why? You have. This is the first time you've ever heard about ages. <clears throat> so what do we call it then? Right, double check. So I do have this written down. Where the fuck are we? <laughs> you hear the words coming out of my mouth? The current year that you guys know it as is 309. How long is an age? It, yeah, she'll say it depends on and, and what happens. What the fuck is that? <laughs> an age ends when in a global disaster happens. What global disaster? I mean, have you seen the giant magic-eating serpents? Where did they come from? She does not know, actually. She'll say it's from another plane of existence. How long have they been here? The past 
three years, and people have been fighting them. You've been fighting these things for three years? Yeah. <laughs> have you ever killed one? She hasn't fought them. The people of uh, this age have been. Have you seen anyone kill one? A few. <laughs> Ow. Normally, you, know, you have to use <laughs> magical weapons, but even then, they you know, don't take. They you know, are very much resistant to magic. So I gotta fly up there and punch them. Uh, pretty much if you you are able to do magical damage with your fists. They only take magical damage. Yep. And they're resistant to it. They're resistant to magic what? cast. What the fuck? Like, and she's, and what she meant is, like, if you are casting spells at them, it will not work. <laughs> and in fact, it, it, any magic that it does damage to them seems to heal them. How the hell did you kill one? An army. Well, I can't fight him. <laughs> <laughs> um, you hear the the chanting getting louder. And you see, as the chanting ends, as you look towards where the lightning was stri striking, a large figure starts to form <laughs> up, into the, uh, the, up into the sky. What does it look like? It looks like a, a what you would describe as a god. Hell yeah! It's a giant beach ball? Dope. But as as soon as that uh, th uh, this it it's a female figure as far as you can tell. As soon as it, it fully forms and is fully up there, mm -hmm. you can tell even from this distance a look of complete horror. And as soon as it fully uh, finishes, you can feel the uh, the very uh, fabric of magic that you've been able to tie into to basically cast your magic before. Is severed. <laughs> David right now, magic. Every anyone that uses magic cannot <clears throat> cast any spells. <laughs> now we're like Jack. Ugh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, except I'm fucked. You're a bird. <laughs> and you see, as that happens, the form starts to decay itself and fall. Uh, what? <laughs> the, What's uh, the, happening? The god just died. What do you mean it died? It just died. How? You don't know. You're not there to try to uh, get an idea of what's going on. Somebody tell me what's going on. Well, uh, we took acid and we're still lying in front of the dragon. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, the guild, leader is, the guild leader is gone. Convenient. Hmm. You also see there is ten different temples in, in, in this city. Well, let's get going. Okay. You can also see that there is... Each one of these has a different symbol on it. Gabby didn't have a map for this. This feels kind of important. <laughs> there is a map, but this is more for something else. And it's later on. And plus it changes each time it, it forms. Mm. Uh, so you see the first one, which looks like a giant library. It looks like there is a symbol of an open book. Next one is two open hands. Oh, no, sorry. Not, sorry. A trident. 
The next one is a great axe and a warhammer cross. Ah. The next one is a skull and crossbones. <laughs> next one looks to be like it like hey it looks like a person whispering into someone else's ear. The next one is a hand being stabbed by a dagger. The next one is a bow. Just a bow, no okay. arrows? Yep, no arrows. The next one is a woman holding a drug over on, on her shoulders. A drug? A jug. Okay. The next one is a <clears throat> tombstone. And finally, a staff. I'm gonna pick that one. You're gonna pick that one? Yep. Okay. Um, just ones that you know, right off the top of the head, and you recognize. So you don't recognize them right off the bat because the symbols look different, but your mind instantly connects them to the proper one. The staff is the god of magic. Damn it! Okay. And the open book is the god of knowledge. Actually, Jack, you would know that too. Like, everyone would know both, uh, both of those. Well... And a few moments later, nine large figures start to uh, fall from the sky. What? Not really like they're <clears throat> falling, more like a uh, superhero landing, almost. And these are truly colossal beings. Like, you would come up barely to a toe. With how tall they are. And they, you can see on outside of it, in the mountains in themselves, those cities on top of uh, floating, uh, floating mountains, all have fallen to the ground. And you also smell something that I'm guessing any of you would hate because you're spellcasters. The smell, the smell of burnt paper. Hmm. Like bur books are burning. So would you like to go to one of the temples, or just watch? Mm -hmm. Or find where the fire is? What do you think, Jess? I don't know. Jack, what do you want to do? Pick it. <clears throat> Find the fire. Okay. Okay. You find in the fire in front of the the temple of that looks like a library, and you can see people running in there, grabbing in books from one section, coming out and throwing it onto a giant bonfire. Stop. Okay. They're, yeah, they're looking at you. What are you doing? <laughs> they all kind of glare at David a bit. <laughs> I didn't do nothing! 
I don't know him. <laughs> I awkwardly wave. Um, one of them will uh, come over, holding one of the books that is currently on fire. Uh. This is knowledge of the, the dragons that had put us into chains. Well, how come you don't want to know about it? Because they are dead to us. And he throws it onto the pile, and people start to go back to it. Looks like you're dead, David. Oh no. They're not saying it to you, David, they just don't trust you. That's yeah, racist. Yeah, it is. Um. Uh, I shapeshift into a human. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? Yeah. Okay. I have a shapeshifting ability. I want to try taking one of the burning books. The okay, one that looks I'm like it has you... the most knowledge. Okay. Yep. Alter self. Okay. Into um, a human. Okay. I'm not going to have you roll for yourself for David, but I am going to have Jess do it. Because you're oh. trying to... Yep, yeah, you're trying to steal from the pile that they are trying to burn. so much. Yeah, they, they're they gonna notice you. Well, I wasn't exactly trying to be sneaky about it. It's not like I'm trying to, like, steal it. I just want to look at one. Okay. Um, they're gonna yell to put it back, uh, put it back in the fire. If you're taking it out of the fire. I'll, I'll, I'll put it back. I just want to look at it for a minute, and then I'll go right back in the fire. Okay. Uh, they are intently watching you. I go. And they are very confused about it. I go around <laughs> to the other side and say, "Hello, fellows." <laughs> As a distraction, so Jess can read. I want to read. Yeah, I want to read the book. Um, tell okay. me Does more. It tell me anything. About your hatred of dragons. Okay. Um. Aren't they the worst? Freaking scaly this skins. This one talks about the fact of dragons disappearing. In two uh, one, uh, age ago, one or two ages ago, leaving only a ve uh, very few amount. After they seem to have sealed away one of their own kind. And when they uh, when they tried to mention uh, what the uh, the name of this dragon was that they sealed, it just is the corrupted one. Smog. Copyright. <laughs> uh, uh, all do we? Uh, they, they are looking at you very confused. I'm gonna have you do a deception check. <laughs> To try and trick them around. Me? Yep. Okay. A deception I'll check? Advantage. I'll give you advantage with it, because oh. you're, you're looking like human. You know, they're probably all just freaked out. Yeah, they're pretty freaked out right now. Well, so there's a lot going on. There is quite a lot going on, so... Their there's... eyes are fully away from you, Jess. Fully away from me? Yeah. Okay. Well, is there any way I can sort of pick one out that I know will have more information? Uh, what are you trying to look for information about? Um, what could have been the cataclysm of the, the dragons, basically? What, what makes them say that they were put into chains by the dragons? Okay. Um, with that roll, you can find one, but you are not going to be able to read it right now. Yeah, I'll probably just put it away. Yeah. I have no sleight of hand, but they're not watching me, so... Yeah, they are not watching you, so they are not going to be... You're not going to have to worry I about I do. Okay. You do, but you don't need to do it here. Fine. Okay. I'm going to take that book and put it away. You notice as soon as you're doing that, and... Like these 
giant creatures, when, uh, like, you you could you know, base off the size and the power that you're kind of feeling off of them. These are gods. The eels? These are the... Uh, yeah, the, no, that, uh, not the eels. The uh, things that just fell from the sky. Okay. These are the gods incarnate in their most powerful avatars that they can muster right now. What are they doing? They are currently fighting the eels. But the thing is, winning. they are winning, but they are destroying things around them. There's a mm -hmm. lot of collateral damage. They could have fought out in the mountains? You. <laughs> we are the mountains! <laughs> you are, like, you see one of them punch one through a mountain. Which god do I worship? Hold on. Uh, you worship the one that it died. What? God of magic. <laughs> I was gonna root for one of these assholes. Fine, I got. Give me the stat breakdown. I want to root for a new one. Did I uh, worship yeah. the god of magic, or was it the knowledge that I chose? Uh, I think you worship technically both. Oh, oh, that's that's why I recognize both of them. Are there no dragon gods? <sighs> no, there are not. <sighs> Racist. You did. <laughs> Uh, uh, David, if you're worshipping the, the God of Knowledge, she's up there right now. I don't know, right I'm now. trying to see where it says I worship uh, what. I don't think you, uh, it chose. Should it not be on my character thing? Uh, you have not chosen. Faith, yeah, it's blank. Yeah, you have not chosen. So how do you know mine's dead? Uh, you would have, your mate, was... you'd pick, you'd normally be worshipping <clears> the God of Knowledge. <throat> Who's Call? Call? Cal. Cal? That is Call. the Cal. Uh, Call is the god of combat. Get him, Call! Which which direction is Call in? You see, actually, there's... It, instead of one person being there, you see two. There's two Calls? Yes. Alright. Well, yeah. Jack, you and I will each root for one. Okay. okay. Go um, double call! You notice that they're twins, basically. Brother and sister. Ah. Dibs on the sister. <laughs> <laughs> you also notice, as the, they're fighting, this giant skeleton-looking figure turns around towards the, the city and starts to walk toward it. Right, right. And it's looking towards where you guys are. Pray to call. <laughs> Pray to call? Okay. What? What do you mean, what? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <clears throat> That's you one of the gods. You haven't been listening, then. No, I've call been is... typing. Yeah, she's been typing an call essay. Is the... Call is the, uh, god of com... the twin gods of combat. That, oh, like, that's... right, right, right. Yeah. Um, you guys would know now that you're in this area. Uh, that their two names are Kali and Kalest. Coolest. How do you spell that? K L A L L A Y and K A L L E S T. Kalest is the coolest. Jack whips out his team shirt. <laughs> Yep, the uh, culture. It's called Jersey. A, what you guess is the god of death, or the underworld, is coming towards you guys right now. Let's kill him. What? Yeah, yeah, no. okay. <laughs> I, I throw a dart. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, by the way, you're, the dart did, did teleport. Do we know where it landed? No. Dang it. I don't know a good no way, way to no track way. him. <laughs> you, have, you have no way to track the dart. I should have put, like, a homing magic on it or something. <laughs> That's an option. Later on, you can try to do that. Um, you see him go, uh, going towards him, and you see all the people that were going into the temple scatter. Uh-oh. And you see his eyes start to, uh, like, his eye sockets start uh, to, like, follow the people that are uh, darting around. His, his, you can tell that his eyes are not looking at you at all. <clears throat> we gotta burn the rest of these books. Oops. Do you want to go in and, and look for him? 
Are you sure about that? No, that's why I said maybe. <laughs> you see each of the ones that had, didn't run away fast enough? His hand comes down, his skeleton hand touches them, and they turn to ash. <laughs> Was that morbid? The fact yeah. that I laughed at that? <laughs> A little. You know what's yeah, morbid? Yeah. It's the god of death. Yeah. He got through the shield? Yeah, he reached through the shield without being affected. It was probably put up by them. Mm -hmm. you, can, you, know, you can pretty much guess that this area is very much a holy in ground. I and like is we, protected by them. I feel like this is such big scale stuff that we can't really do anything but watch, so... <laughs> Oh, this area is, is still open. I guess like, there's a horde of giant flying eels, and gods are walking around and fighting, and we're just here as little toothpicks. <laughs> I can't deny that. I get out my uh, emergency ration of spicy tots and eat and watch. I stress okay. eat. Stress, stress eating. <laughs> Okay. Uh, is anyone going to check the library, by the way? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm you assuming that God is a, a little bit upset about people burning the books and not about people very wanting to read the books. So. Yeah, they are very, he's very much upset at the, at the people that were burning. I'm not about to you anger the see, God of death. <laughs> yeah, you can tell, though, when you go in there, you can kind of understand where each section is. The dragon section is completely destroyed. Just completely? It's been completely burnt. Oh, sad day. But you start to notice the ash that had already been fully burnt is starting to float back towards those sections. As if it's slowly going to repair it. So they may have done damage, but it's not permanent. Cool. Is there anything you'd like to look at, like, uh, look for inside this library? Um. Uh, this is kind of big. Uh, it's bigger on the inside, definitely. Dimensionally transcendental. Very yeah. nice. <laughs> um. Are we on Gallifrey? When did that happen? <laughs> the only difference between magic and technology is knowing how it works. Maybe there's a Dalek runner around. Friggin'. Jess, you could have a Dalek <laughs> companion. <laughs> As if a Dalek would follow us around. You could convert it into a familiar when it comes back to it when we go back to the original <laughs> one. Having a Dalek familiar oh, yeah, would be... Yeah, it turns into a puppy. <laughs> Oh he still God. wants to exterminate everything. Yeah, it's just always, Mistress, exterminate! And be like, freaking no, shut up! And then you put down some milk and he just goes, blam, blam, blam. Uh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you said the Dalek going, blam, 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 Yeah, because he put down a bowl of milk for the dog. <laughs> yeah, well, the dog what? lick. What the what is it going to be bl blaming? Milk? <laughs> no, not what is it going to be with what? It's mouth? They don't really have mouths. You're turning it into a dog. Oh, it turn it into a dog. When we go dog. back to the actual land, it converts okay. into a dog that thinks it's still a Dalek. That's why you call it a dog lick. Okay. And then that, you... Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, yeah. you know what dog looks look like? Time. What mouth are they blaming? Just has this plunger. Just... <laughs> Hijack the TARDIS and we go on new adventures. <laughs> Is there anything like specifically noteworthy that I can see? Yeah, there anything, anything shiny. This whole place is filled with shiny books. <laughs> like, this is the most in terms of like knowledge that you've seen. Mm hmm. 
there doesn't seem to be any spell books to be sh uh, to like find here. <laughs> this is more focused on history and, and facts about that type of thing, mm -hmm. where you can find it, farming type of things. Um, if you were looking for stuff for magic, you'd go to the God of Magic. Um, are there any books, at least at least somewhere nearby that I can see that uh, could tell me like what the current year is and what the current climate of the world is? Uh, yeah, actually. Any, at least, sort of generalization? <laughs> yes. Give me a moment. Um... You can see, basically, there are two other... One other book right now that hasn't been destroyed. That is labeled age one. I'm gonna pick it up and look at it. Okay. This one is gonna be a wall of text. So I'm just I'm not gonna hit type it. Thank you. I'm going to... <coughs> that actually worked. Or... that show it to everyone? What? No, it didn't. Oh, I'm gonna go get the rest of my freeze. Beard, do you need something? I have another one in the fridge. I'm on it! Beer number two on the way! There it is. There you go. That should have popped up for you? Yes. I copy and paste this so I have it. Yes, you should be able to copy paste it. Oh, heck yeah. I've got like a full page and a half of the stuff going on right now. Oh, what the? F That's going to be a whole nother page, to be honest. Oh, probably. <laughs> um, copy. You can tell that this aid is like off of other books, not being able to like take those ones. Um, you can. And that, and that's basically just a, a summary of that age. Um, you get the sense of that this age was a very magic he heavy age where magic had no limitations. Really? Because you took our magic away. No. Yeah, now there, and that's there why it's changing. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was, like, you look through it for your knowledge of magic, there is no mention of any type of spell slots of any kind. Okay. Um, most type of, you know, like in order to be a well-known mage, you would basically make yourself a floating city. Huh. That was your way of make, making yourself an arc mage. Um, from age one to this, it's been about a thousand years. It's been about a thousand years? Yeah, from age, uh, basically from zero to now, it's been about a thousand years. Um... Huh. Ah, what the frick? Um, but it seems to be like the labeling of the the years, like as you're reading through it, zero is when age one started. After a hundred years, it switched to. ATD. It doesn't it give a uh, description of what that is. ATD was after how many? After a hundred years. Okay. 
was ATD. <clears throat> but no details. There's, yeah, it doesn't give a detail of what it 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 was it meant. Um, you know, uh, you do read that age two lasted that hundred years, roughly. Oops. And everything between age two and na and then was about a thousand years. I might recon about the the timing, but it's about that much time. Okay. Cool, cool. Some pretty intense world building. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still not used to using a Chromebook. I'm like trying to highlight oh, things, good. and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I've got six pages of D and D stuff now. <laughs> this is how Jess relaxes. <laughs> Ferociously typing for three hours. I have been talking about D and D all day. <laughs> um, what have you been saying? Yeah. That I'm freaking excited to like do things, and then people are like, oh, well, what, what are you doing in d, d I'm like, well, right now we're, uh, getting a tavern figured out. <laughs> I'm sure um, the kids were like, ooh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, you guys, you asked. I'm nerding out at you, though. They're like, it's okay, I'm learning stuff. I'm like, whatever you say, kiddo. <laughs> uh, are you ready for the information vomit I'm about to blow? <laughs> I know, it feels so bad. Exactly. I'm like, they're being quiet. <laughs> And I'm like, I could just, I could just nerd out, nerd out at you all day. It's like, if you want me to stop, just let me know and I will. <laughs> I fully know that feeling. Um, you do notice as you guys look at your hands, the white spot on your hands is only now a half circle. Oh. Huh. And you can kind of feel like the the ground shaking has stopped. Do we feel like that's a good thing or a bad thing? Well, you last time you saw it, it the, the, the gods were winning, so most likely it's a good thing. And are you keeping any of these books with you? Uh, yes. Which ones? Um, just the two. Okay, so the book that you got from uh, from that one and age one. Yes. Okay. You notice as you are starting to leave the uh, the library, two copies appear on the the shelves. Two copies? Basically. So eat one book. of each? Yeah. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else you guys like to do here? You can still see the, the, the skeleton god above you, like, reaching down every now and then, poke someone, turning them to ash. The people who were burning the books specifically? Yes. Okay. By the way, I didn't toss that book back into the fire. I just set it down. Yeah. I would never intentionally burn a book. <laughs> well, you said you were taking it with you. That's true. That book, you yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And that was the one that you got, the, got from the fire. Okay, good. Because I, yeah. I was yep. under the impression I grabbed two because I'm like, don't don't want them to look at me and like be like, she's taking one. Okay, what you, good. Yes. What do you call a book on fire? Literature. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was a good one. 
this is came to me as well. That was a good one. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> okay. Okay. So, is there anything else you guys would like to do? Probably. I'm just typing. <laughs> You're all good. I'll give you a moment because I have to use the bathroom as well. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. So have you guys decided what you guys would like to do? Is there anything you guys want to do? Uh, mm -hmm. should probably figure out how to get back, huh? <laughs> I'm kind of assuming that the circle on our hand might transport us back. Yes. Once the circle is completely uh, gone, we'll transport back home. Oh. Okay. Just because it's kind of like an apocalypse right now, I don't want to hang out. The gods forever. are winning. <laughs> For gods now. Are winning. The gods are winning. One died, by the way. Yeah, that died before. They by eat the magic! Way. That was the magic god! What do you expect? By the way, David, as you were watching in, <laughs> you see a, another, a new person falling from the sky. Okay. And joining the fight. What do they look like? They look like a godlike mage. What race are they? Celestial. Hmm. Is that my new gun? <laughs> yes. Basically, it, it, it took some time to reborn. And be Okay. And as this uh, this person uh, this god falls, you can start to feel the connection to the weave back. Ah, my weave. It is back to what you remember it as, but you don't have any spell slots right now. It's like that part of the the weave has not been implemented yet. I didn't know you wore a weave. I know. <laughs> I wanted to save it for a more dramatic point, but it's out there now. That's why yeah. I changed my name to Hugo Weaving. Um, I think... You, can, you basically can generally feel like... You can you know, like do general purpose magic like cantrips right now, mm -hmm. but everything above that is... 
I float my not magic possible. hand up to my new magic god to high five him. Uh, they are not paying attention to you. I slap him on the the butt. <laughs> Go get him, champ. Really? As if he could reach. You could not reach that. That's you <laughs> fine. I I waggle his heel. <laughs> Go get if him, If they're walking champ. on the city we're in, we are not in the right place. <laughs> they are, he is far away from the city. Fine. Spiritually. <laughs> fine. Yeah. I extend my magic hand out as far as I can, and I'm doing this. Like a... Like the... Oh god, what is that hand? <laughs> it's hard to describe oh, over call. Palm facing the ceiling. That, that thing where it kind of looks like grass moving in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm doing... It's like you're, the doctor's checking nut sacks. Oh my god! And I'm like, you go, magic I man! I would not know anything about that. <laughs> she oh. told me to do it! And I pointed at Jess's character. Oh my god. You the man! It's but a woman, okay. by the way. You the woman! You go, girl! You go get them sucking leeches. <laughs> and they seem to be like, like, as soon as she lands, they are going after her, but she is completely destroying any that gets too close. Okay. Um, I want to go to the temple with the staff. Okay. Because that's my temple. Yeah. And I want to check it out. Okay. You can go in and you, you see that there are a few <clears throat> mages there that look completely ill. Ill? Yeah. Can I ask one what's going on? Um, I'm going to make fun save to see if you can even talk. Uh, he's gonna be able to barely talk. It's like he's gonna say, "Everything feels wrong." What did, did he do? My typing skills are going to be so much better after this. Mm-hmm. Great for carpal tunnel, too. <laughs> That's fair. Do I know that he's talking about our god, or do I not know who he's talking about? You do not know who she's, he, he's talking about. Then I would ask. Let me just double check. He will say that one of the Archmages was casting the highest level of spell to try and end this fight, but it must have gone wrong. Gonna puke. Uh, on me? No, he's not. He's not trying to hit you with the puke. He's, like, it. he's moving yeah. out of the way. Like, to can we get an acrobatic? acrobatic roll? Yeah. No, I, say. I will rage quit this entire campaign. But what if you roll really well? No. Roll it here. I'll roll for her. Hold on. This is an exorcist type puke. It's spraying. Yeah. Acrobatic. No. Here we go. No. All over the place. <laughs> it is not. David got hit. Huh? Did not. <laughs> Somehow David got hit. I've started dry heave and I th aim my mouth at Jess. Athletics. <laughs> <laughs> and then I spin around at the last second and I puke on one of the leeches. They can't even get in this. Powerful. It was like a bullet, <laughs> like a missile. It's just I, I got on my squat knees like this went. 
Oh of all God. things in life, vomiting is one of the things I hate the most. Here. Uh, well, if you choke me, if I puke on you, that's an animal handling role, so... <laughs> Oh You're God. a human right now. What are you saying? Yeah, but underneath, I'm a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, you can choke oh the illusion off of me. Gosh. <laughs> Actually, when the puke hit my cheek, I turned back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, I wipe the vomit off my face. Oh yeah. By the way, what? I wipe the vomit off my face. He's the wizard is out of it. Like. You can see a lot of them are doing the same thing. They're all puking? Yeah. They're all... Like, to you, this is normal. <laughs> but their whole fundamental knowledge and grasp on knowledge, uh, on magic and what it felt like <laughs> has been completely changed. Okay. So, like, you felt the change before. It, and it was a weird but good feeling because it was a surge of power going up. Going back down isn't that bad of a problem for you because it's like, oh, this is the new, uh, the original norm. Dark Wolf says, "Oh God, I feel bad for Nick with having to deal with our shenanigans and these shenanigans too." <laughs> and then Game God says, "I don't feel bad for Bick, Dark Wolf." <laughs> Dark Wolf says, "Well, I do." <laughs> oh, there's a lot of shenanigans happening. Oh. Actually, <laughs> it would be kind of funny. Once the puke hit one part, like one side of my cheek, I turned like half human, half lizard man, and I'm just freaking these people out. <laughs> oh, oh man! Just, they know what you're you know, like. You're you're among wizards that knew how to like alter self. Okay. Um, you also notice a few of the wizards mm -hmm. turn to dust. Oh, bro, bro. Like, it's not like instant turning to dust. It's like. They start to age super quickly, and then all of a sudden, they're just dead. Hmm. Darkwell says, also, his character, he think he thinks has peeped the most. <clears throat> Probably. What are you doing to these people, Nick? <laughs> Seems like fault. they're doing stuff to themselves. Yeah, it is fully their fault. It's just Not an epicac fault. spell going around. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it is now a quarter of the circle is now left. Huh. And you see the fight outside of the walls is mostly done. Like the major like destruction of uh, the landscape is done. They're mainly just like grabbing them in midair and crushing them. Except for the god of death, he's literally just like poking them. <laughs> Poke. So less mountain destroying, more. Yeah, they swatting it, at flies. Not, yeah, it's like they were swatting at flies with uh, like doing wide range attacks to try and get as many as they could to get this place under control. And you could tell, like, outside of the walls, there's, like, the mountains are destroyed, there's lava, and, uh, like, cracks through the ground. Uh, where you came from, actually, um, there seems to be a mountain there now. Hmm. And it's slowly spewing lava down on it. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's why. What? <laughs> he's a wolf guy, a wolf, a wolf a creature, and he's been going into some pretty horrid stenches. Who? Dark wolf. Oh. So it's a blessing and a curse for him, as he says. Sulfur. <laughs> It's one way to do it. I have no idea what you're talking about. All I know is lava plus smell usually equals sulfur, which is not oh, a no, pleasant this was, one. Uh, this was Dark, uh, Dark Wolf's uh, reasons for puking before. Oh, 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 yeah, no. Oh, man, having that sense of smell was sulfur? Sulfur, dead bodies, rotting corpses. 
Man, you need a stronger, stronger stomach. <laughs> you need like a nose hat. Get higher constitution. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't really think I'm one to talk. My constitution is not very high. What if you had like a had like a sensi or like a a a, a car <laughs> car freshener car freshener underneath <laughs> your like a necklace. Oh, oh man. God. I was here to help you out, Dark Wolf. An idea. Go to, like, a florist or something like that in town and have them make, like, a baggie of potpourri for you to carry around your neck. That's one way to do it. Metagaming! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, what would you guys like to do at this temple? Like, um, there's, like, you can see, like, the clothes of these people that w turn to dust are... They look like high mages, like, arc mages each... Okay. So, so, the people who are burning books are high mages and arc mages and all that? No. Those, the, the ones that turn to dust inside the, this temple are dying oh. of old age because... Oh, because their magic can't withhold keep their... Them alive. Advanced age. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know, this yeah. is like my favorite part of the campaign so far. This is intense. <laughs> World building. I love it. I'm excited. I can't speak for everybody else, but I'm stoked. Woo! Uh, <sighs> Dark One says he has 20 constitution. He just does the puking for the fun of it. To fit with his character. Don't come near me with that. I'll stab you. If she meets your character in this game, Dark Wolf, she will break your neck. Um, Funny. I will... I will say, you guys <laughs> did notice a, a weird group of uh, adventurers that ran after one of the guys that uh, was burning books. Yeah, actually, that's a lot of constitution. Why does he have 20 constitution? Yeah. Uh, he had an 18 plus 2. How? Are the rest of his stats bad? No. He, he picked it and put the 18 there. I have 20 decks, David. Yeah. I don't have anything near any of that. My highest thing is my charisma. charisma. Yeah, my charisma is 16. That's my highest. I have eight. <laughs> That's I have right. We were going to re-roll your stats. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm like, what's this garbage? I have, like, yeah. none of... I have nothing point. near that. Yeah, you, your stats were... Oh, Jesus. Well, um... I think yours was... Oh, uh, uh, okay. Gray. Dark Wolf Dead says, gray. I don't puke on people. I always find a place to dispose of it. He's nice. like a cat, <laughs> but a wolf. <laughs> Very nice. Um, yeah, yours was close. Like, yours was either point by or standard array. So, yeah, we're going to have to re roll yours one of these days. Yeah, because I'm like uh, 10, 13, 14, yeah. 11, 12, 16. I think yeah. I did the point by. You No, you rolled. I rolled? Yeah. Well then, crap! I did a good roll because my charisma's eighteen. Yeah, you had. I, I had. You were doing, doing one of my. my Been walking so. around with the worst stats oh, yeah, in the right, whole I party. Did. Dang it! <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you can do a point a by that way; it'll be more even. But what yeah. I think they with rolling, you usually do two extra rolls, and you yeah. can discard two. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I I do one discard now. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. I'm probably thinking of Pathfinder. Yeah. I, I mean, a, similar, I, but I'm, still. Yeah, I have a couple new ways of doing stat generation that I'm going to do. It guarantees okay. at least an 8. Yeah. Well, I mean, lowest, instead of a 3. Ow. Well, yeah, my strength is a freaking 8. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I'm not very strong. What, it, what do you guys want to do in the Temple of and uh, mage. Um. Nothing. Nothing. What's in there? I mean, other than um, these poor, sick mages. You see that there are tomes of magic knowledge. Uh, you see a few people like who look like they were apprentice mages looking through it, and they all look really confused. Confused. Yes. I want to go ask them why why they look so confused. Um, you who ask one of the ones that are closest. He says, 
I was able to cast things from this stuff, but everything is like I can't understand it anymore. Can I understand like, it? He shows you the book and all the formulas for casting the spell. You can read through it and you can see that it will not work. Oh. You can guess probably based off your knowledge of spells. The very fundamental eh, fundamentals of magic has been changed. So, these people are learning how to re need to learn how to cast spells again, basically. Cool. You also notice that people are trying to grab pieces of paper on one of the old tables, but they seem to be flying out of their hands and crumpling and then popping out of existence. Weird. Can I and grab they're, one? They're, you can try to grab one. I want to try to grab one. Dexterity save. Uh, check. Sorry. Not save. My dex is terrible! Oh my gosh. This... Oh, oh, oh. Did it work? Yeah, it worked. I'm taking the first one because I didn't know it worked. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh... Did Jack do one as well? Or was that just something else? This is for you dodging, Jack. Dexterity? Yeah, you just. I saw you roll a dexterity. He was dodging puke. Oh, yeah, he was dodging puke. Okay. <laughs> you managed to grab hold of one, and you see that there are uh, formulas on, on it, but it's starting to pull out of your hand. And you have to physically hold on to it, and you can feel like. It's going to rip out of your hands, one way or the other. Huh. Do I and know what's going on with it? Uh, when you look at it, you cannot, like, it, as you try to read the, uh, the actual information on it, your head instantly hurts. You're guessing that this is forbidden knowledge now. Ooh. Dark Wolf says he has 18 strength, 16 dexterity, 20 constitution, 15 intelligence, 18 wisdom, and 11 charisma. How? Wow. See what I mean? <laughs> See what that I mean? That honestly doesn't... I'm 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 18. We know which group Nick likes better. <laughs> he rolled well, good. That's, that's the only thing. What level are they? Uh, they are... We're level five. Yeah. Almost level six. Oh, look at that bar. In one of the upcoming, at least, I think, three levels, we can... Isn't it somewhere around there? At eight, at eight at we eight. can change our... Okay. At, so at eight, you can add a belly point. Maybe not quite but... like that, but we can add ability points. Oh, level nine, sorry. Huh? Level nine. Nine, not eight? Yeah. What? I thought it was like eight. No, no, they are at level nine. It okay. is level eight for the thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're level nine. Yeah. We are uh, far below them. Yeah. Well, for now. For now, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you can tell this is knowledge that the goddess of, of magic is trying to basically get rid of. Interesting. Is there any way I can try to memorize just this one specific thing? You're going to have to make a con save. I mean, would I know that uh, this forbidden knowledge would hurt me? No, this is the, the magic in your, in your mind trying to prevent you from remembering it, basically. So I'll either let you do a intelligence save or on save. Jesus. Uh, I would want to try intelligence. Okay. Don't bluff. Don't bluff. <laughs> what do you mean, don't bluff? My intelligence is higher. Do it. Are you bluffing? No. I did it! <laughs> well, I don't think it's well, high enough, but I did it! You're you're able to get 
a few details to remember it. But the main bulk of the page, you are not. Okay. I just think it would be interesting to have some bit of forbidden knowledge. What deal? Details. Um, you are able to get the name of the spell and the author of it. What's it called? Uh, Karthus's Avatar. And the author is Karthus. Does it summon a dude? No, you do not know what it does. Nick, give us Final Fantasy summons! Where are my Eidolons? <laughs> yeah, you, you mean Leviathan. Mm -hmm. Uh, by the way, Justin, it is K-A-R-S-U-S. -S. I'll oh, take uh, Bahamut. K-A-R... No, no, Ale I'll take Alexander. Karsus Jack. Avatar by Karsus. Yep. Okay. Yep. Doom. Ooh, good choice. And it, you notice it is also a level no, I'll take Odin. spell. That's a good one. Yeah. Did you get that part? Yes. Alright. That's just kind of neat. Kind of figure, you know. I'm here with my, uh, in my god's temple. She's fighting a freaking war right now. I'm, I'm gonna try to get some information in there. Okay. Well, is it my god that's getting rid of it, or the god of magic? The god of magic is. Okay. It technically is your god. This is... One of, right? No. Yeah, this is one of your gods. Okay. Okie dokie. You can tell that, like... What you're feeling is it's not being destroyed. It's just being locked away. Locked away and reborn? Uh, not reborn. It's just locked Aww. away. Okay. Like, they're not... Uh, they are not gonna stop you from... finding it, but they are gonna stop you from being able to cast it, most likely. Okay. Plus, you do not know a way... Like, through your studies through both all your studies, you all know that the max spell level is 9. That is your knowledge base, at least. Okay. Oops. <laughs> and by the way, you will be leveling up at the end of the session. Yes! I think no. yes. There you go. <laughs> Uh, hold on. I gotta... Eh. <laughs> That's fair. Eh. Yeah, no, I'm, like, so mad that I was sick last week. You're all good. I it love D&D. &D. <laughs> uh, by the way, Weird. Jess, did you attune to the, uh, to the ring? Attune to the ring? Yep, it is a magic ring that needs attunement. Uh, I guess so. Okay, good to know. Good to know for future reference. And yes, I am. <laughs> Game God. God. Bick, you're am. a D&D &D addict. What, me? <laughs> no, he says Bick. <laughs> oh. I mean, I do have four kind of games going on right now. Oh my I've been God. Off no, Nick. I've been offered. I'm not pulling the plug. <laughs> Telling your mom. No. My right. very first uh, DM, I would love to play a game under him again. Oh my gosh. It's like this level of world building, but constant. <laughs> Every single thing is planned. <laughs> or he comes up with like a backup plan because everybody I play with are freaking insane. It's great. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Meow. <laughs> Well, one of the campaigns I've played, uh, somebody set fire to an entire town. So, <laughs> that happened. It yeah, happened. It's okay, on Reddit I was reading how, uh, this guy, he was a DM for the first time, he's playing with a new group, I think. No, he's a DM, but he's playing with people, it's their first playthrough of D&D. &D. And they accidentally killed a couple kids. So now, uh, they're, like, 
they were playing morally good <coughs> characters, but now they, the way things turned out, they have to be like morally, like they have to be like <coughs> leaning towards bad now. So they were wondering how to like pivot from there. Um, either embrace it or try to atone. Yep. I saw a good <coughs> suggestion. Saw a good suggestion saying, yeah, have a uh, the death gods or whatever have like one of their servants like come up and like give them something like welcome. Was it an actual accident, or was it something they felt they, they were, were forced trying into? to? Because the kids were hostages, they were trying to throw a dagger at the guy holding them, and Bad idea. oh no, it gets better. I'm remembering better now. The dagger killed the kid's mom, both their the two kids' mom, and then they're like, we don't want any witnesses, so they killed the kids too. Oh, That's geez. what it was. Okay, so they killed the kids on purpose, which yeah. is definitely an act of evil. Yeah, and it was like out of nowhere. So the guy was like, what, what do I do now? See, <laughs> These aren't was, good guys anymore. It was Pathfinder that I played, but I played an evil campaign, mm-hmm. or part of it. Um, and one of our first things was basically uh, raiding a town. Mm-hmm. And my character was super greedy. So she held an entire family like hostage. <laughs> well, the, the kids hostage. I snuck in through the window, grabbed their kids, and said, Hey, bring out everything that is valuable, and I might not kill them. Oh my gosh. I know. I didn't kill them, but You're I killed the parents. Corrigible. It was an evil campaign. It was It was very weird. We didn't play it for very long. People got uncomfortable. <laughs> well, yeah, that's kind of how uh, evil campaigns kind of go. There was one was um, really cool part, though. Um... With my character in that one. That's so cool. Mm-hmm. Um, where, because I was uh, a witch in that one. So I had the hex uh, sleep. Is it sleep or slumber that's the hex? Uh, not sure. Either way, um, I took on an orc leader, used the hex, put him to sleep, and of course my, uh, um, oh gosh, uh, deception, there we go, skill was really ridiculously high because of course I played a tiefling um so I basically told all of the orcs yeah I beat your boss what you gonna do about it they're like all right you're the leader I'm like give me all your money so I took their money uh killed the boss while he was asleep and uh basically robbed an entire orc band and had them under my wing so that was really fun you're just the meddling monk (laughs) am I yeah because he's just about greed and like collecting things well, <laughs> Dark Wolf, <laughs> I think it's a my story. What the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck? Just, I, I hope they said it like that. <laughs> like, woke up his mom. Like, mom, what the fuck? <laughs> you gotta hear this, get here. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I love D&D and Pathfinder. Oh, also oh, it's Dark Wolf. So great. Next time you guys role play and everyone says hi, you gotta go, What the fuck? In honor of me, please. Oh, God. And then everyone else, to, everyone else will be like, What? Oh, what? <laughs> that's, that's awesome. So I'm the only one that's gonna know. Exactly. Like Two of you will be on it. <laughs> You'll just be like, I don't know, and then keep uh, going. Yeah, hi, Dark Wolf. <laughs> or just, Yes. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. That or they all just start uh, m- mimicking it. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the? F- like it's like a terrible. Kid? <laughs> yeah. It's like a bunch of swearing seagulls. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, so you have a. You basically are able to copy down in that <laughs> into your own in it, like a uh, spellbook or in parchment. Okay. That game got oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's starting. Oh, Yay! <laughs> Sorry, Nick. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. Actually, I hope that's what some of the townspeople here with all these gods around. They're just like, <laughs> I took a nap. Right? I took a nap for two hours, and look what's happening. <laughs> no, there. Uh, as far as you know, this village that they are in, you're in right now uh-huh. appeared out of nowhere. I was oh. going to say, yeah, no, we it appeared right in front of us. It emerged from the ground. That's fair. People mm-hmm. appeared and started running, so we ran with them. 
Yeah, <laughs> they, they basically came out of the woodwork in every direction. And Didn't know what the frick was going on. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, you have that uh, that forbidden knowledge. Sweet. Is Just there anything else you'd like to do? Can I pay respect to my god here? Yeah. I kind of. See an altar there. I kind of want to do that. Do one of these. Okay. <laughs> I don't know exactly how to do that, but I am at the altar of my god, like the temple, the temple yes. of my god, while they are fighting in a war. Probably before yeah. our times, what I'm gathering. Yes. I would love to pay my Matter respects. Another dimension. <laughs> and maybe possibly give them any bit of backup I can do. <laughs> okay. It just um, sucks you of all magic. Just... <laughs> <sighs> it made me so sad. <laughs> No, well, it's not gonna. It's not gonna do that. Plus, you're about to get. Actually, what the? F what you couldn't even cast spells even if you wanted to. Actually, I couldn't. Yeah, your yours is based off of of the contract. Your contract's not signed. Not signed. Yeah, your 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 patron doesn't know about you. Oh, not yet, right? Yeah. Okay. So you technically have no powers right now. Okay, that's you fine. Have, you have what, uh, what is left, uh, what you had residual on you, but that's about it. Okay. Well, what my character is gathering so far is this is before our time. Yes. As we are feeling more normal, as these people are depowering. Yes. Which is one of the reasons I wanted to grab some of that forbidden knowledge. Mm -hmm. Um, so, whether or not I have my patron, I'd still like to pay respect okay. to the god I have chosen to follow. Alright. You can, like, you've prayed before to your god when you were back in the other, uh, in your time. Yes. And you never felt like they were actually watching you or watching over you. But now you actually feel like they are. Okay. You actually feel like they're listening to your prayer. I guess I would um, reassure them, as they probably already know, they will win this and there will be a new normal. And eventually all will be right. Um, actually, you're, uh, since you're praying to the right person, uh, you can feel like a general, like, annoyed sigh that this is happening. <laughs> what, that I'm praying to them? No. Okay, that the whole thing is happening? Yeah, the, the, the world is being like, ravaged again. That's what, that's, like, this is happening, like, this is happening again. God damn it. Well, that's since I have the ear of my doing. god, um, and I feel that emotion, from them that is strangely uh, mortal. I guess I will... Do I have any idea what age my people are in? Um, At this point? No. You cannot... You can tell it's very far into the future. Okay. But otherwise, no. I don't know. I want to try to reassure my god as much as possible. Like, yeah, this sucks. You know it sucks. But everything changes all the time, um, as I'm they know. You, yeah, I'm gonna make you do a perception check to kind of you know, as you're connecting with her, and she's kind of like open to her thoughts right now. I have no idea what's happening. No, you. you she is an you know, enigma that I am just touching. You're not able to. Yeah, you're not able to hear her background thoughts of what going on right now. Mm -hmm. So Maybe just, she'll feel a little know, bit less alone. Yeah, you can tell that she does feel that, and she also is grateful that to hear that type of thing. <laughs> and you can start to feel the, uh, the her presence growing more distant to it. You can guess by the, the the feel of earthquakes that they're walking 
farther away from this location. <clears throat> okay. And you can tell by the earthquake that they're all traveling in a group. Probably because these creatures are all being drawn to the goddess of magic. So they're both using her as bait and another weapon. And with that, this circle will close on your you all all your hands, and you will feel that pull again. And everyone falls on their ass right up where they were outside of off the, uh, the side of the dragon and the eyes stops glowing good job David thank you man I want to tell my god that magic has changed but she still has plenty of worshippers in the future <laughs> too late <laughs> do you think do you think I would have been able to relay that Yes, you would have been able to relay that. Okay, good. Well, that's cool. And in the distance, with the normal, uh, like, where you were hearing basically silence here, you can now hear the sound of pickaxe clanking into the, gra uh, into the rock again. It sounds like they're getting back to work. So about those rolls you made, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did they happen? Yeah. How is our guildmaster in a different age? You're gonna have to ask her. She's immortal. <clears throat> oh, I will. <laughs> She's going full Highlander. <laughs> I freaking love Highlander. Me too. I know who doesn't. Michael. And Isaac. Lame Especially people. Isaac. Yeah. Why? Because I, I turned I, into I, a meme. What? Yeah. Because I made it's it a meme. Thing now. Yeah. <laughs> it's fully a meme between them. They don't hate it, they just don't love it as much as David does. <laughs> I freaking love it. But hey, I'm married to the guy. We still need to watch the TV show more, too. That's you right. made it, Dunk in the Cloud? <laughs> I. <laughs> oh, it's me, Dunk in the Cloud! What the fuck? No. <laughs> That's right, David. And then I hear, Mike, I hear Nick rolling. Oh, That's man. true. That's good. David takes one slap damage of zero. No oh, damage. Hey, the dragon slapped me. <laughs> no, this is just an air slap. Uh, I'm gonna give this, uh, I'm gonna let Jack Featherly slap me. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll take one on. damage. Yeah, roll for it, please. Hold on. This is not an attack roll. <laughs> there you go. Take that. Ow! 21! Yeah, that one stung. <laughs> that sounds like I damage. Think there's... Hold on, I think there's still a feather in my cheek. He, like, stabs you in the nose with his toe with that acrobatics check. Yeah, it literally, like... <laughs> no, I wanted to hit him. I wanted it to hurt, but it didn't actually do... That's not... It was that would be an acrobatics check. It was a loving slap. You're just, like, tapping him in the nose with your foot or something. Like, you're yeah. on your hands, like, pa. He did, like, a backflip over me. Yeah. He did a backflip. He did a backflip, like, slap. He did a backflip. And a feather hit him. Yep. And it hurt. <laughs> Stings. Hey. Hey. Tickled his nose. <laughs> now, I, now I smell like Jack. <laughs> you, know, you know the kind of nightmares I'm going to be having now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After that experience? Yeah. That's true. <laughs> it's like, how was the mines? Good. We met uh, a bunch of gods and uh, Cthulhu monsters. Um, you also notice Peyton is looking a lot more weird now. What? Weird? Weird how? Like, she's very confused. We fill her in. Go. 
Uh -huh. No, she was with you. So she's just not processing then? She's not processing something right now. Hey Peyton! Hey. Hello! She can have uh, so, up with Jess. She yeah. left it yet? Jess wants to talk to you. Let's go look at Jess. It was real. But it wasn't now. Uh, that's not what is hard to understand. What? Well, that's the first time I was able to actually commune with my god. Oh, me too. How was it? Amazing, but now it's empty. Well, what's empty? Now it's it, she can't contact him. She <clears throat> can't contact her god. She can't talk with them. Oh, were they DMing? Well, that was something that I saw in my notes from much earlier. Yes. Our gods have stopped communing with us. Every cleric that has not been able to hear the gods talk to them when they prayed. Rip. <laughs> and now that she just was able to hear her god. You are the chosen one. Yeah. Okay, so are you, are you guys going to head out? <laughs> probably should, huh? Yeah, we should probably head back. We've had quite the experience. <laughs> what yeah. a what a day. <laughs> okay. So, you guys head back. I'm gonna Teleport. <laughs> Escape rope. Escape rope. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Oh, boop. Oh, I put boop. myself over here. <laughs> Why? Because I could. <laughs> Peyton's sitting over here, not being, knowing how to handle being in contact with God, and you're like, I'm teleporting through the mine. <laughs> and you guys make it back. You can see in this location, in the actual city, it's back to him bustling around. Um, as you're coming out, you hear an explosion from your left, which is the right on the map. Mm-hmm. <laughs> From this house, okay, Whoa. and you hear cursing, okay, and then it's silent again. Uh, roll. <laughs> can I tell if it's frustrated or angry? Yes, you can easily say. You can easily see it's frustrated and, ang and angry. Oh, but it's not. You can tell by the the cursing, it's not at a person, it's at a thing. Okay. Situational. Yes. Well, I don't know what's over there, and I've had an interesting day, so I'm going to go figure out what the frick's happening. Okay. <laughs> so heading over to the, uh, the, uh, that house, or yep. heading to the tower? I'm going to head to the house, cautiously. Yep. Okay. Um... I'm going to have you make perception rolls. Oh, Jess is not going to notice. I have, I am in a mood right now. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're very confused by what just went down and coming back here. I talked with my god. Peyton talked with her god. We're feeling very weird right now. I got puked yeah. on. <laughs> but I'm like still work. trying to figure stuff out. Jack and I are pretty perceptuous, so. Yeah. Um there's a weird smell in the air that you recognize from the when the guild leader shot the the pine cone in a guild. What? <laughs> This is David, the name for the fucking enemy guild that, that you guys took care of. I don't of. remember that. Yeah, you named it like the Pinecone. Let's see, where was my note? Hey, do you guys know where they live? One guess. They're dead. Coney Island. <laughs> no, I want a chili cheese dog. <laughs> but I thought you had to pee. Yeah. Well, go pee. But things are happening. It's a good time. It's a good pause. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'll be right back. Yeah. 
Uh, you named it Charlotte Hits the 40 Pine Cones. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is your name for them. Pine Cones can be pretty jagged. Uh, but I mean, they're dead, so the name didn't really stick, huh? Nope. They didn't catch root. <sighs> <laughs> you left it open. You left that good, perfectly good one for me. I'm propping you up so everyone can become more like me. <laughs> Soon we'll all be telling bad puns. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, you notice... You notice the smell is exactly like what you remember the the guild uh, guild leader's weapon was smelling like. Jack, get in there. Stealth it. Stealth what? it. The door is closed. Stealth it. You can get up to the window and see what's up. Okay. You can Climb the window. There you go. Okay. Uh, stealth check, and you can also notice that this house seems very rickety. Like. It's been Acrobatics. Uh, stealth first since you're being sneaky. You're being Boom. sneaky. Okay. Not not very sneaky. <laughs> not bad and eh, sneaky though. About average. Yeah, above average, David. I'm proud of you. I hope when they okay. find you, they're like, you know what? That was an above average sneak man. <laughs> and acrobatics to grab the uh, the actual ledge. Come on, Jack! Come on, let's Bang! go! Bang! Yeah. He jumped over the house. That was easy. <laughs> he Hulk jumped that house. <laughs> Hulk jump grab. Boo! <laughs> and I'm gonna have you do another perception check for looking inside the window. Oh god! Good luck. Yeah. Here comes the veil. Here comes the two. <laughs> Yeah, there it comes. If it's a hey, floor, that's... baby! Ooh. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Okay. Um, you see a human man walking around. Uh, his left hand is missing two fingers. Yeah. Like, it's, they've already healed, but he's missing two fingers. Okay, I'm gonna, like... Sign language, this to David. Okay. Um, you see him walking over okay. to a um, barrel filled with... What? Barrel. Barrel. It, the only way to describe it is black powder, and that's what it is. He okay. takes a, a scoop of this black powder and bring it over, brings it over to his work table, which is close to where you are right now. He does not seem to notice you. What's happening? Oh, Jack's been... Uh, he jumped up... He Hulk jumped on this building, and he's looking through the window. Very nice. <laughs> uh, he starts to... And there's black the powder, powder barrels. Huh? In the building. There's what? Black powder barrels. <sighs> all together? All of the black powder yeah. is together? In the entire world, in that one room. Oh, my. Well, not in the world, but... <laughs> Just in like... This area, yeah. Uh, you can see, like, five or six barrels. He's hoarding that shit. I, I told you. you see him <laughs> grabbing... He then reaches underneath his desk and pulls out a... What looks like a modified pistol. Bro. To have a... This dude's gonna off stuff. himself. <laughs> it, it has a... Long, a extended stock to make it basically like a rifle and an extended barrel to make... It basically looked like a pistol that made, was made into a rifle. He's making a sniper rifle. Oh no. This guy's gonna shoot Kennedy. Oh no! <laughs> the wrong crossover! And he starts to make these little packets with black powder. This guy sells drugs. A, uh, a <laughs> cloth. Drug. Not a cloth, but a, a paper like a substance and a lead projectile on the top. So basically he's making rounds, but with less high-tech rounds. And he starts to load one uh, one of the rounds. Is that illegal? Or? No, not as far as you know. Okay. Just watch some dude make ammo. 
Yeah. And yeah. you see oh. him ram it in. The gun. He starts. He loads a few rounds into it. He's gonna kill himself. He then starts to take aim at a target in the back of his house. It's a big fucking house. Yeah. It's a very big house. What are you doing? Oops. He's attacking. He's firing the gun. No. At who? <laughs> no one. He's firing He's at the target. barrels. A target. A target. Oh. Target. It's just target practice. Oh god. What? So he aims, and then all of a sudden you see him, he's like, eh, 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 yes! and he fires it into the ceiling. Holy shit. Dude's already missing two fingers. What's all right. Doing? <laughs> I'm gonna knock on the door. What? <laughs> and you see him like, like, eh? Where is it? Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get distract him. I can sneak in. Good job. I'm using an intimidation roll. <laughs> you okay in there? Let me in the fucking house. <laughs> Did he leave? No, he's still there. He's holding the gun as well, but. I'm here. You open, please, sir. Explosion Louder. happened. You okay? Hey. Well, um, what do you say? <laughs> he's gonna rush over to the door. Yeah, I'm sneaking and, in the window. Okay. One moment. He pulls open the door, and you see this guy is covered in black powder. <laughs> like, he has a work apron on. Like, his, what you can guess was used to be white clothes is now, like, stained gray. And he's holding this pistol rifle in his hand. Like, what do you want? I was just exiting the mine, and your house basically exploded. I wanted to see if you're okay. Because, you know, mine, explosions, mountain. You good? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah? It just happens. Experiments have to happen. You need a mug of ale or something? You want to go more get... tries. What? Three more tries, and he's holding up his left hand, and it has three fingers left. He's yeah, saying yeah. three All more tries. You can blow off three more fingers? Yeah. Well, then how are you going to hold the gun for any more experience experiments? I got a hand. Are you good as good as aiming with your other eye? Yeah. <sighs> Do you want to get, like, a mug of ale and then come back? Seems stressful. Ale will help. Yeah. Take him to the tavern. Get him drunk. I don't uh, need to get him drunk. I just, I just, he blew something up. Intimidation roll. He needs some ale. Get a drink with us, you douche. You crazy old man. I've had an experience. I want to buy somebody some ale. You look really thirsty. I hear black powder can make you dehydrate. Um, Come on with us. Okay, he's going to go with you. There we like, go. Get away, I got to put stuff away. This guy's already been eh. drinking. And he, he, like, carries the rifle and turns around. Jack, stealth roll. Because I have no idea what's- I have no idea what's going on with you guys. All I know is I came out of the bathroom after coming out of the cave- That's what's going on! <laughs> Jack is in the middle of the, the room, basically. He just climbs through the window. <laughs> Alright. Give me that 20, baby! Bye! <laughs> You hear them them talking. You have a split second to either find a hiding spot or dash out the window. Let's go the now, dude! There's okay. my roll for you. Oh my god. Okay. Um. <laughs> you're very convincing. So he's like, yeah, I can. I'll carry this. You fell in love with you. It was so persuasive. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I don't even know what it is. How can I tell anybody? He sounds Don't. drunk already. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. He doesn't, it, like, it, you can tell this is more of an accent than it's him being drunk. That's fair. Being I'm no drunk racist. is an accent? All I know is I've been through something. I want to buy somebody yeah. some ale. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, he's he's going to follow you. Flirt with him. I'm not flirting with anybody. Flirt with him. <laughs> I don't need to flirt with him. I'm being very persuasive. I'm staying behind because he's so focused on her. <laughs> yep. I just wanted to buy the dude some ale. 
I, I, I whisper through the door, let me in. <laughs> he does close the door and lock I could, it. I could pull him through the window. The truck. <clears throat> I mean, if if the dude wants, I can, like, hide it under my, like, cape thing. Yeah, it's okay. Not many people know what he is. Okay. I don't know what it is either, so that's fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's going to lead you towards the... The, the tavern. middle tavern? This is my favorite part of the... <laughs> <laughs> he's leading you to the tavern on the bottom ah! layer of it. I keep somehow changing my screen. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he's leading you to the... The worker tavern? tavern? Yeah. Alright. Let's do this! <laughs> okay. Now we'll reach out. You're going to pull, pull David, David in? in the window, the window. I don't know what's going on with them. I don't either, but... This dude exploded. Yeah, I'm rolling, really, I'm rolling I've had an experience. I talked to my god. I need to buy somebody an ale. <laughs> and I need okay. to do whatever I'm doing. <laughs> okay. So what you were, were able for, to... David? He, he brings the uh -huh. in. He's going to basically... Like, the barkeep looks at him and you. is like, eh. What do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I've seen this before. <laughs> give me, give me a God seeing ale, please. <laughs> One day of Pepsi. He's gonna put down a large tankard of ale in front of you. I'm a, I'm a take like, a good swig. It's you can tell this is a mix of different ales, but in a good mix. Oh, he should the graveyard. All right, all right. <laughs> Right, get the graveyard. I need, I need, I need to pay for my and my friend's ale. What's your name, sir? Victor. Oh no. What? Victor. Victor. Yeah. Cool. With four V's. <laughs> Victor. 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 Good name. Good name. Forever drunk. Good man. Yeah. He's been getting high on these black powder fumes for decades. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So what are you guys doing in the, his house? We're investigating. <laughs> okay. We'll I don't know what they're doing either. I have no idea what they're doing. Scooby-Doo shenanigans. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing either. I don't, I don't either. <laughs> a gunpowder plot in the gunpowder shop. There was an explosion. Yeah. I wanted to see if he was okay. I saw my god. He exploded. I'm buying a mail. And now you're on a date with a weird man. <laughs> 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 Pretty much. We're gonna do some perception checks. Yeah. Spot something cool. Yeah. Like whatever he's smoking. He's not smoking anything. He's just got black powder around him. He's been him. huffing for there years. You go, David. Good There's work. a good roll finally. Okay, you can find like look it around. I mean, not as good as that I, one I don't there, see shit. but. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Enjoy your gold you digging find... date. <laughs> I know nothing oh. about the dude. <laughs> You find that the farther into the house, there's mm -hmm. about 20 other barrels of black powder. Oh my gosh. Dude, is, this is this shit, like, is he, gonna, all open. is he gonna blow up Parliament? What's happening? <laughs> We're in a mine! <laughs> well. What do you expect the explosions are made from? They should Got be. some dynamite somewhere, maybe? No. What, what's in dynamite? Oh, oh. Tapping. I'll give you a hint. Black powder. You can't talk to us. You're on an old man date. <laughs> <laughs> tell him your story. Yeah, tell him your story, Jess. What? Tell him how you saw gods and tentacle monsters. <laughs> tentacle monsters? Yeah. Testicle monsters. Uh, yeah, sorry. Correction. Um, chat, we're looking for testicle monsters. <laughs> A whole oh, horde of them. No, 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 no. A horde of them. That this whole, this whole uh, the house is lit by tiny little flames. <laughs> this dude's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, but like, they're not like they're as small as they can be to uh, produce light. I'm gonna turn to oh. David and say, "Why are we in here?" And I shrug. I'm a, I'm a by our friend. <laughs> his ale of choice, and ask him how he's doing. <laughs> yeah, what, what does he drink? Uh, yeah, what can he taste anymore? Tinker's <laughs> ale. 
<laughs> That's what he's gonna call it. Alright, let's just leave, Jack. There's nothing here. Um, <laughs> so what did you ask him? I'm asking him, you know, if he's doing all right with the explosion, if whatever he's doing is going well. Whatever he doesn't want me to talk about. What? It's going fantastic. Wonderful. Like, like very explosive. <laughs> very explosive. I, I, I heard that as soon as I exited the mine, so congratulations on your yeah. success. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no, he passed and? out. <laughs> And I've been working on this rifle area for a customer. Ah, that's fair. He has trouble hitting things. <laughs> what? what? I'm sorry. He has trouble hitting things from a distance. It's trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm giving it a long barrel to make it easier. Suckering suck attack. I invented the sniper rifle. The scope. Whoa. He said he got a skill. He heard you, Jack. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> we should really leave this house if we can hear us across town. <sighs> hey, we're stealing your stuff! Yeah, let's <laughs> take something. <Yeah. laughs> let's take something valuable. I don't know. Are you going to take something valuable from him? I don't want to. I don't think he has anything. <laughs> Black powder. I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> N new party member. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Tell him he must be pretty smart to be building something like that for somebody. Because I, I don't I know. know what's going on with that. Uh, perception check. What, me? Tell him about our key. Yeah. Tell him for Yeah. He can be our uh, barkeeper. That'd be funny. Oh, like, he's our smith, dude. That's true. Or inventor or something. Oh, yeah. We need, Eight. we need a tinker. He's we need a, a tinker. tinker, yep. Um, you Jess, 27 persuasion, go. You what? notice on his hand there's a tattoo. Persuade him to work for it. Of? You can't tell. It's covered in soot. You gotta ask him. Poor beer yeah, on I'll his hand. Yeah, I'll probably hands. be like, uh, <laughs> I mean, what's on your hand? Like, you can like, dump some beer on back accident. I'll, I'll cheers him and, like, overshoot and get some beer on his hand. Okay. Cheers, man, to new friends and successful experiments. Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and he, he all, like, he puts a lot of force behind his, so you're getting splashed. All right, so, yeah, we're, we're, we're both getting splashed. It's genuine. Let's go for it. And you see the the, the mark of the guild on his, on his hand, the same as yours. There you go. He's already a bro. <laughs> Send him to the mountains. <coughs> I'll, I'll just nudge him and, like, fist his hand and be like, yo, guilt. <laughs> oh, fist his hand. See, okay. see if he knows this handshake, the secret handshake. Yeah. Do we have a secret handshake? I don't, I don't we better know. not have a secret handshake. We're, we're a professional guild. <laughs> it's a secret. It's, it's a, a secret. secret. <laughs> <laughs> see if he knows it. Start doing it. See if he... It's this, okay. Everyone everyone in our party, do it with me. Alright, so you're gonna lift up both hands. You're gonna uh, make an O with both hands. Oh no! And then you're gonna vigorously go back and forth with them alternating. Are we doing it? But that's not a handshake. No. Well, what you do is here, Jess and I will demonstrate with sound. You're, all right, so. It's like that. You're whacking each other's hands off. Oh, you're meeting each other's hands. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh does each God. hand like, go towards your mouth? It <laughs> does, yeah. It goes towards okay. your face. There's a bit of a... Face. Ugh. <laughs> oh, my God. Except for <laughs> not really. And then after you're done, you go, what the fuck? <laughs> so start doing that and see if he... Right, yeah, let's see if this guy gets it. No. Start, start jacking this dude off. Come on, secret handshake. No. <laughs> secret. No. Secret. That is not our secret handshake. <laughs> I refuse. You're the one who took him out on a date. <laughs> he blew up. I saw my god. What do you want me to do? He blew up, you blow him off. <laughs> it's poetic. <laughs> Oh my exactly. god! Exactly, complete the cycle. 
No. <laughs> if you want to save the world, you'll jerk off this crazy black powder. I'd rather everybody die. <laughs> Do you want to save the world or not? I'm sure that's been used. <laughs> the answer is no! <laughs> I'd rather die. Oh my god. <laughs> you know he's in our guild, so... That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Find our secret handshake... Is we just, uh... <coughs> we, we shouldn't do, have a secret handshake. We do a fist bump, but with our thumbs up. Our guild leader is apparently ancient. Why do we need a secret handshake? Because we're cool. <laughs> you can make a secret handkerchief freeze. Secret handkerchief? Is that what I heard? Yeah. <laughs> this is my secret handkerchief. <laughs> oh, man. That that get, The gunpowder guy would definitely have a secret handkerchief. <laughs> Uh, he is downing in the, his tanker to Mayo, by the way. Uh, I I guess I'll follow in suit. Yeah, uh, recruit him already. The tavern, David. Right, yeah, let's go. Okay, you guys see him, uh, see the two drinking at the tavern. All right, we're gonna sit down with them. Okay, where are you sitting? Uh, away from him. So you can <laughs> sit right next to him. No. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna go take a long rest so I can get my magic back. <laughs> Your magic spell are already back. Oh, okay. Like, as soon as yeah, you got you back going to nowhere. Time. We were transported to, like, a whole different reality, almost. Not entirely, but still. Yeah. We felt our original magic, and then we felt our current magic. Yep. I'd say that's an out-of-body experience. Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, Hence then, the ale drinking! <laughs> well, then everyone take a long rest to make sure you have your points refreshed. <laughs> we didn't spend any of them. I did! What? On invisibility what? and stuff. You did. Oh, that's takes, true. It takes magic points to slap a god's ass, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you mean hey, you the back of it? his foot? Oh my god. Bye! <laughs> Via psychic powers because you <laughs> yeah. couldn't do it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything you want to talk to him about? Um. You gotta actually recruit him. <laughs> like, if you want to try to recruit him. For what? Yeah. Like, yo, we have a all the black powder you could want. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. He's an inventor. Yeah, he's an inventor. Like, cool. Inventor, yes. Inventor, yes. Inventor, yes. Inventor. Inventor. Yes. Tell him we'll give right. him a brand new laboratory workshop. Yeah, now you're, now you're talking. Yeah. He can do whatever he wants up there. I don't know. Maybe... Like a... Free room where he only pays for what he breaks in our, uh... Place. What's Take it called? Your... In your, in well, what your are you court. doing here? In our stable? tavern. Or? It's a tavern. I don't think we have rooms, do we? Uh, right now you could make yourself your personal rooms. Well, the, the tavern we're building. Whole, like you were making one building, you could make another one for him. We don't have that money right now, but Maybe in the right future. Now. Yeah. <clears throat> you can make the offer for a later time. That's fair. Do it. Convince him. What exactly am I convincing him of? He's gonna come live at our tavern. Mm -hmm. Um, we're basically just down the road. He doesn't need to live with us. Oh, he's gonna live Why with not? us. Why not? He's living with us. Because he's, he's got a, a place. Away. What? He's, he's, you guys are a week away from this place. Like, we worth the travel. Oh. <laughs> Just down the road, a week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't... No, our place isn't finished yet. I feel like he won't care. <laughs> but when it is... We'll give him the garage. We'll try to make sure he we'll has a place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can... And if you want to try to offer him a place for... I got, I got like a workshop. Vibes. Good vibes from this dude. Mm -hmm. Plus, he's an inventor. He can make his own room. Like no, helpful. we would have to build a space for him specifically away from the tavern so he doesn't blow anybody up. There's a little oh. cave 
There's a little uh, small oh. cave nook in the mountain right next to our base. There that's is, but new, a dragon's in it. That's his new workshop. You're good. The <laughs> dragon's <laughs> still there? The dragon's gone. Oh, yes. No, the dragon. I like where he's going. You recruited him. The dragon? The dragon? Yeah. He's, uh, you befriended him enough that he's staying around. Oh, that's to right. Protect, right. Yeah. yeah, so, so yeah, no, that space is not up for you rent. Offered protection. Wait, it works perfectly. The guy needs tinkering. If he needs some kind of hot, uh, some flame to make his stuff, the dragon's right uh, there. Ask him if he likes roommates. David. Yeah. The dragon's an ice dragon. Well, if he needs to cool <laughs> something, metal. <laughs> it's so cold it, 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 it fire burns. something, the dragon... Can put cool it, it. Exactly. He has all that black power and the dragon put it out. Perfect. Boom. Team Roommates. Leader. Okay, I'll ask him if he'll consider coming to work for us in the future, as we yeah. will have room and board for him. We've got hookups for good dwarven ale. And we'll have a way to put out any Free fires. Blues. We'll Free. have a way to put out any fires he might create. That dragon Probably. has that power, right? Yeah, he can hit the nice dragon, dragon. Oh, yeah. fire. Jack, are you also yelling free booze for him? Uh, if that's what it takes. I, it's no, no, bad. no, no, it's there's just... gonna be a limitation to that. <laughs> that's what I do persuasion, it's just like, hold up. There's a limitation, just because we're starting out. Discounted, <laughs> discounted booze. 10% that's off. Right. Um, he is gonna say... So I have my own workshop. Right you up. will. This will be later on. Mm. When we finally have it built. We're still working on the foundation. But yeah, you'll have your own workshop. And it'll yeah. basically be yours. We're, we're probably not going to heckle you too much. But it's good to have an uh, inventor within uh, reach. He, he's offering his uh, half, uh, half hand, basically, in a shake. Shake his gimp hand. His, his, Going his, for his, it. His Take so my strong hand. hand. <laughs> Going for it. Okay. At least I until we have a space for you. This is your space. As soon as we have a space for you, it is yours. Ah. Sounds good. I'll get packing. What? Don't get packing yet. I don't know how long <laughs> it's going to take. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and you got to... He, he waves out and the bartender over and he hits bartender and puts another one down. He puts the he, he puts the money down for this one <sighs> and downs it. And, and he, you see the bartender also put one down for you. I'll, I'll pat him on the back. A manly pat of uh, gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a soundboard. <laughs> and as soon as he finishes the, uh, the second ale... He's out. Oh, I thought he was, <laughs> I thought he was spinning to Jess. Oh <laughs> wow. my god. We got a deal. Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> he just explodes through the table. Yeah. <laughs> he just falls flat on the yeah. fence. He had a grenade on him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, he basically is one. He's yeah. Covered in black powder. It's true. Yeah, he's out. And you see that the, the barkeep like just sighs, like, God damn it. Well, you know this guy? <laughs> yeah, I know him. How would he not know him? He lives right there. <laughs> Does he do this often? Yes. <laughs> Are you gonna take him home? Thank you for that. Here's a tip. Take a shower. <laughs> oh my God. Like, he's going to anyways. <laughs> he's going to have to. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be covered in black powder. Like, he's also signed for the fact that he has, now has to wash that whole area with his, because it is covered in black powder. Poor guy. And just your hand is covered in black powder. Um, 
kind of bring it now that he doesn't. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna rinse it <laughs> with okay. the ale he bought for me. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, this guy's gonna do something cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Eventually. We need more money, guys. You know that, right? We'll just have him blast a hole. We like need more money for this now. Okay. How do we make quick money? We sell all this black powder. You steal from everything that's dead. <laughs> steal from everything. <laughs> you have no shame is what happens. We did. We stole from those guards. <laughs> we stole from one guard and got two what? Two guards. You Was it two? Two guards. Two guards. Yeah. And we got, what, how many coppers worth? A million yen. Uh... 30? It was it was in the 40s. <laughs> yeah, it was 40 copper uh, copper uh, pieces worth of uh, copper bar. Okay. And I <coughs> would say pick one of you and roll a d100. Not me. Every time I do it, I get terrible rolls. <laughs> so, it, Jack, you're doing lucky. Jess is doing it. She's yeah. feeling it? Yeah, she's feeling it, she's Mr. Feeling Krabs. Lucky. She's feeling it. it worked. Oh, go. there it goes. It just took forever. 98! Oh, oh, God! <laughs> 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 you say whoops? Uh, no, I said, oh. oh, my God! God. <laughs> so, Nick, we won, right? Campaign yeah, over. That's... We did it. Holy crap, that's insane. That's real. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> So, uh, we, we leveled up three times now. No. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a high roll. That doesn't necessarily mean good. It it's better. just high. It's better. It is high. 98 on 100, that better be a good roll. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad roll. It only, uh, what happened? Two other rolls. <laughs> yeah. Out of 100. That's third place. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> it's not a bad roll. I mean, if you were trying to get Divine Intervention, it'd be a bad roll, because you'd need to roll lower. Oh, oh shit. What happened? What did we do? <laughs> yeah. What did I do? <laughs> oh, that it's was an encounter roll. It's turning the tables on you. Yeah. You're supposed to get oh. a low number. It's supposed you to be golf rolls, yeah. <laughs> no, in this case, you're okay. You can get a bad thing. Oh my gosh, that was insane. She rolls a 98, just awesome. explodes. <laughs> So, Glad I did not roll that. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, you guys are free to move around. David, I think, is heading back to the, the, his room. Yep, I'm already asleep. Uh, are, we are you well, two joining him? Yeah, are you joining me? <laughs> in his room? <laughs> no, I mean, at the tavern in your room. Nick, you're a perv. We don't share the same bed. <laughs> Um, you just do. I'm going to finish Not my drink first. <laughs> okay. And then, I guess, go back, because I know the bar keeps taking care of my new friend. <laughs> Victor. Victor. <laughs> oh, man. I guess it's bedtime. Yeah. In and out of game. It's 3.30! Yep. <laughs> yep. Actually, yeah, it's 3.30 over here. <laughs> yeah, right? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Good playthrough. Very good playthrough. You are leveling up. Good. We're level 9 now? I mean, not 9. Jesus. Mm, six. Six. Nick has to Upside down. It. Yeah, I will be leveling you guys up. Uh, I'm going to just do that now. Yeah, you guys are yeah. level six. <laughs> level what? all sixteen. Six. I'm still level five. Well, I'm going through the characters. I can't, I just updated David's character sheet, so refresh, yeah. Dave. Refresh. David first. <laughs> oh yeah, he's on in, like he's Gross. on the, like top of the list, so it's alphabetical. Ooh. He did the least amount of role play tonight. What? I did the most comedy, though. <laughs> I don't know. I asked some good questions. Yeah, you all had some very good questions. Although Jess is over here uh, praising herself, so <laughs> Nick, can you uh, go ahead and give her a praise bonus? 
Yeah, yeah give me an inspiration she, point. Uh, Why not? She just slept with an old man Honestly. covered in dirt. Uh, can you give her a praise bonus? <laughs> you are getting a full inspiration point to use. So that is a free reroll. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love D&D. Thank you, Nick. Yeah. You're very welcome. Where's my reroll? I'm under. I'm under underpowered. <laughs> no, your reroll for is your stats being rerolled. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want to re roll from right now? I guess. Uh, give me a moment. I actually have a macro for it. I don't even know how to invest in point, my level up points in this thing. Because we leveled up, so now it's like uh. Whoa. Okay, go into uh. Okay, so go press the angle. That takes a while, doesn't it? Rolling? So, no, for uh, for this, go and click on the the anvil in the top right of your character sheet. Uh huh. And then it will bring you to your class, and you can go up to level six. Uh. Yep. And if you don't need to do anything, it won't. <laughs> give you any new options, but if you do have things you can do, it will highlight them with the uh, red. Mm -hmm. Showing you that you have things you can do with it. I don't think so. You might not have anything you need to, you need to do. That's lame. Oh, it just means that you don't... You got new stuff, it's just you didn't need to choose new things. what I get then? Uh, scroll down. I can heal myself now. <laughs> um, I think for you, David. Let me double check. Let me actually go and see what it is. Uh, My strike are now magical. You're now ma you have uh, so when you're casting a spell that deals ice damage now, you can add your charisma modifier to the damage roll. I already could do that. At level 6? I could already use my charisma for my stuff. No, you're adding that to the damage. Like uh, on the instead of just the normal so, roll? It, yeah, you get an extra bonus now for <laughs> anything ice related. Cool. And you also... You can spend one uh, sorcery point to resist it, uh, that uh, cold for one hour. <coughs> okay. How come I'm not seeing so, any of this? Am I just not reading it right? No, so it scroll down to the bottom, like, below uh, ability improvements. And it'll oh. say infinity, uh, elemental affinity cold. It doesn't always highlight in red. Yeah, I haven't seen no, it's any not, red. Yeah. Well, because, uh, Dark One's own luck is 6th level, which I would have now. Yeah. But it wasn't like, highlighted in red. Red means that you had to do something. Make a it. choice or something. I okay. Think. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. And then... Okay. Ooh. That's neat for me. Mm-hmm. Alright. Alright. Is that the only thing that happened to me? Yeah, that's the only thing right now. You got your your ability to basically spend a sorcery point to okay. gain resistance. To ice. And also, and then, yeah. And then do extra damage with ice. Yeah, though yeah. you're already resistant to, to ice. I yeah. Think. Anything else or am I... Do I not get any more spells at level 6? Oh wait, you can actually change what... Wait, it's not changing to unlimitedly fire. Hmm? Did you change your elemental affinity? Who? You. No, you're. I'm ice. Wait, that's... Yeah, that that's weird. I've always been it ice. Says... When you look on your character and builder on your your kind of bone line on the bottom, does it say L... what does it say elemental affinity for? Under Draconic Resilience? No, uh, scroll down, like, on class features, it should say Elemental Ability. very bottom, it says cold. cold. Okay, so it's cold, okay. Yeah. It's just being derpy on me. Okay. I was like, I've never been a fire dragon. Yeah, like, it would... 
for some reason it did that. Hmm. How do I get out of this? Do I just go back home? Uh, yeah, you can use that or you can click the on right next to what's next. Mm -hmm. You can click the that button that looks like a character sheet. Basically. You have to click that. Home doesn't take you back. Hmm. Do we not get any more spells? Uh, you should be able to get some new spells. Yeah, I don't know how this works. <laughs> uh, yeah, David, you uh, go back to that uh, page. Class? Said class. Yeah, it, it, above, right next to class features, it should say spells to the right. Uh -huh. You can click there, and then you can click on add spells, and you have you have one extra spell you can add. Me too? You should have another one. Because it's not really actually telling me. Uh, let me check. Level six. It says it's on spells five of seven. So would I gain you two? Uh, you should. You should have seven. Uh, you should have six before. You should have seven now. Okay, so I was at five. So I need two more spells. Yeah. And you didn't get any new cantrips. Your spell slots are still two, and you're still what level third spell level. And three invocations done. Hmm. Trying to find the. Alright, we're gonna just make it easy. Uh, so David, in, in on roll twenty, click on the the dice button on that, or roll. Uh, type in roll forty six. And do that seven times. Mix it up. Space? That's not working. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's, yeah, your R is on the wrong Slash side. Slash R? Slash R, yeah. Seven times? Yep. Oops. <laughs> so your first was a 13. 14. Uh, you have to take the, away the lowest. Uh -huh. Yeah. I do have a minimum that is there, so... Oh, there's your 18! Yay! Oh, wait, no, that's not 18, sorry. Damn it, that's 16. What are you looking at? Remove the two. I'm just doing an addition in my head. So that is 12. Fifteen. Fifteen. So we throw out the fourteen and uh, the thirteen, which would be the lowest. So that'd be. You know what? We're gonna make the eighteen an actual eighteen. Okay. We're gonna give you one. That'd be nice. So we'll have eighteen, uh, twelve, fifteen. Fifteen, thirteen, and fourteen. Yeah. So I'll type it out really quick. So you can uh, put that into your actual thing. This is not a spell. What a weird cantrip. Rave. One object you touch will start to shine light out and start to play loud music that can be heard from a great distance, creating a rave. What? That, that's, a, that's a homemade spell. That's a meta spell if I ever saw one. Oh, that, you must have homemade homebrew stuff approved. Okay. 
Okay, I've got my spells. Okay. There you go, David. Mm -hmm. I typed in, in the, your actual stats that you can move around and put wherever you want now. Okay. So. After I choose my spell. Oh, yeah. Do a little roll. Okay. Good to know for later. For next session. Mm hmm. Where's features and traits? Features and traits? Yeah. Uh, what are you lo uh, looking for those for? Well, I uh, hit uh, what's next. It says uh, place select features and traits panel on your D and D and Beyond character sheet. Oh. Oh. Is that just my character creation stuff? Yeah, that's just your character creation stuff. Okay. Yeah, it should already have all uh, your features and traits done. Okay, there we go. Yay, I have an inspiration. Woohoo! Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Jess, I'm gonna get ready of sickness so I can make people vomit whenever I want. <laughs> Puke ray! Oh, it's actually really cool to have ray of sickness. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Poison it saved damage. my butt so many times. Yep. Yeah. Because they can't act because they're too nauseated. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's great. Uh, yeah. That was a good session. Mm -hmm. I'll say. Lots of new words. But <coughs> Bless you. I was waiting Thank to you. do that one. That's awesome. Hmm. So I now much. have seven pages. There's so much to <laughs> choose from. Yeah. Let's see. Three of them are from this session. <laughs> I know one of them is just the, the, the whole thing of the age one. Pretty much. Because <laughs> I have it on, in a separate Word document and that's how much it took. I'm learning Sleet Storm. <laughs> nice. It's a. Uh, until the spell ends, freezing rain and sleet fall in a 20 foot tall cylinder with a 40 foot radius centered on a point you choose within range. The area is heavily obscured and exposed flames in the area are doused. The okay. ground in the area okay. is covered with slick ice, making it difficult terrain. When a creature enters the spell areas, the spell's area for the first time on a turn, it starts. Or it starts its turn there. It must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, it falls prone. If a creature oh, starts geez. its turn in the spell's area and it is concentrating on a spell, the creature must make a successful constitution saving throw against your spell. Ooh. Save DC or lose concentration. That is really powerful. And it fits does it my... do damage? Uh... I don't think it does. I think it just heavily obscures it. I... Where would it say it? Uh, it would say in the description where it was like until it, it didn't mention until damage. Then. Yeah, no. So it's it's wow. literally just a field spell. That's intense though. That's really strong though. That well, it is third level. Yeah. I chose Having... fireball and remove curse. Very nice. nice. Pink. I have a feeling we're going to come into contact with a lot of uh, dangerous stuff. Well, hey, we were. Oh. Get caught in the middle of a firestorm, I could just douse it, so. That's fair. I could it's be the one causing that firestorm. Plus, well, so I'm an yeah. ice mage. I feel like I should choose some spells that are. Yeah. You know? Because Snowball Swarm is cool, but I feel like I need one step above that, so. Oh, yeah. That's kind of like my, uh. That's, that's my AoE right there. I've got seven <laughs> spells I can cast as third level. I think that's my first one. Wow. 
not that they're third level level spells, but I can cast them as third level. Yeah, all your spells are cast as third level right now. Because there's one, two that are first level, three that are first level, so, and two that are second level. Basically. I'm supposed to know seven spells, right? Yep. Yes. You have seven known. Yeah. And I have five cantrips. Yep. Alright, so just keep going through next. Is that what it is? Uh, just click the top part, uh, the character sheet. Hit logo. You should be done. been a nice spell shot right there. Ooh, yeah. Man, I wasted that. Oh, <laughs> man, that would have been deadly. That would have been. Whew. Dang it. Cut the wrong thing. 22 to cast. Yeah, that's, 24 that's damage. Like, it's gonna hit pretty much anything yeah. at that point. A plus 7 to hit? What am I adding to it? Charisma. My charisma's plus four. Uh, something else, I guess. I guess. It could be one of my uh, patron things. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But there we go. Said so I should go to characters and traits or whatever? Uh, yeah. Um, so I can parse things together that's what it said yeah well you have everything already done like you were going through the, you know, through basically the character creation again that's and actually have... fairly low then cause it's 2d12 I mean 3d12 that's still pretty good I mean it's decent but it's one third of what I could do Yeah. I mean not one third two thirds yeah. That's pretty, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, so is this where I change my ability scores? Yeah, you gotta go to that, head to the abilities, yeah. Okay. Can I choose any order I want for this stuff? Yeah, you have Oops. full control of where they're going. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Charisma is where you should probably put your 18. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm always going to. Yeah. Uh, 18, like, strength 12... <laughs> Con is probably something you want. Hi. Because that will 15. be how you make concentration checks and stuff like okay. that. I'll just keep it. Can... Now I stop playing stuff. I'm trying to look at my thing. <laughs> what me? Sorry. 18, 12, 15, 15, 13, 14. 12, 15, 15, 13, 14, 18? Am I yep. good? Okay. So 12 strength, 15 dex, 15 constitution, 13 intelligence, 14 wisdom, 18 charisma. Yep. You got it. Does that sound good? Yeah. Sound like a good balance? That is a very good balance. Okay. You mean better stats than me. Yeah, better than me. Does everybody need to reroll? <laughs> uh, you have like seven. If I could stats add two. If I could add two to my <clears throat> uh two lowest, I'd be a little bit happier. I mean, I'm cool with that. I, I don't want to be. I'm okay with that. Overpowered or anything. Because it would yeah, bring me to. 10, 8, 12, 14, 15, yeah, 18. I kind of think everybody should be a little more bumped up anyway, so. Yeah, um, I'll also say you can max your health. Where do we do that? Okay, go to uh, first, go to the homepage of it, of your character sheet. And uh, instead of clicking fixed health, click manual. If I remember right, if I remember right that's what it is.
instead of fixed, it's manual? Yes. Okay. Then go to class on the, in the menu. Hit points? Quick. Yep. Click manage hit points, and then you got to figure out your max, uh, what it would be. So, what your your hit dice is, and then times by how many hits, what your level is. I don't know. Okay, so yeah. what is your hit, di your hit dice? 66. So, 6 times 6. 36? Yep. So my max health is lower now? No. What? My max hit points are 44. 1d6. 6 plus your... We said hit but you... dice. But Not up there! Body. Where? Hit dice. Oh. 1d6 per sorcerer level. So one... Yeah. Hit points at first level. 6 plus constitution modifier. 1d6. You will D6. also get... You will get an increase with your, mod your constitution modifier. So... Every level your constitution modifier is added to. You would be at 40 now? So I have 4 44. So keep it at what you're at. Okay. <laughs> There's no reason to go lower. 8 times 6. Oh, wow. Yeah, mine went up. Let me just double check something for David. Yeah, mine my max goes down too, dude. No, mine goes down too, so it doesn't help okay. at all. Okay. That was only hopes, Jess, so... That's fair. Let me just... What stats are you going to let them bump up, Nick? Uh, your lowest stats can go up. Hold. Uh, David, your max possible is 54. I don't, I don't know How? what this is telling me. It says 44 right here. Yeah, hit dice possible. 1d8 per warlock level. You're adding... T you have to also add two, uh, 12 Oh, David's. wait. 1d8 plus, your, plus per your level. Con each. Yeah, your con is added each time. Do I need to put okay. anything in the HP modifier? Well. Either? No. Uh, just uh, do 36 in your... your rolled HP? Uh, rolled HP, yeah. Okay. Same with you, Jack. Trust me, you'll get more. What? Trust me, you'll get more than what you have. So go to and class HP. and then manage, AP, manage HP. Mm-hmm. And then it's the first box on the left. You just change that to yeah. 36. Modifier? No. The, the rolled oh. HP. Yeah. Change that to 36. It... Like my max just changed to 54. Uh, no, it hit fixed. fixed. It didn't switch the fixed over. Here, I'll check. Here, it's Jack. It changed it. It didn't fix it. One moment. Oh, oh it's still on fixed. That's why. Mm. Okay, yeah. Old HP to what? Thirty six. Uh, your, yeah. Mine's no, no, forty eight. His is higher. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Mine's forty eight. Yeah, yeah. Yours goes to forty eight. Your your max toll is sixty six. Yeah, that hits me at sixty six health instead of fifty one. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good. That makes more sense. Cool. Yeah. I was gonna say it should be lower than what you already <laughs> have. Uh, <laughs> it should be impossible for it to be lower. Does that mean the healing's better? Let's see. So what would mine be then? Uh, yours? Let me double check. Nope. Okay. So this total possible is 54. Checking. Yeah, your, your max t uh, total is 54. Okay. Because that's including your con modifier. Now, if you increase your con modifier, it'll go up. How do I change those? Your con modifier? Abilities? Ah, yes. Yeah, you go to abilities and you can adjust it there. But yeah, everyone can raise their lowest stat by two. Just the lowest? Yeah, they're lowest stat by two. Okay. If you want to move it somewhere else, you can. Well, I'm just 10, 10, 12, 13, 15. 16. I'll let you decide. 
if you want it on your lowest, but you cannot put it on your highest. Wait, 16? Do you not have a 20? Yeah, not a 20, but an 18? No, I guess the charisma is the, it's the plus two because of my race. Let me double check. Because, yeah, I think everyone should have an 18. Yeah, no, I'm 10, 10. Raising my strength up, I'm 10, 10, 12, 13, 15, 16. Yeah, raise up your, okay, so at least have an 18. I'm going to say that. Everyone should have at least an 18. I'll keep that on my charisma. You already have an 18, right? No, she didn't have an 18. No, my, uh, it's my modifier because of my race is a plus two. So it's not my yeah. original number. The original Which number has to be How many stats 18. are you adding? So, you can add, if you don't have an 18, make your, uh, your highest one an 18. Then my lowest okay. would be, so it would be 8, 10, 12, 13, 15, 18 for me. Okay. Oh. Do you want me to leave my strength at eight? Um, I'll leave it up to you if you want to or not. Well, yeah, because you're already adding to the getting eighteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, how much stats do you want to keep adding to yourself? Guys, let's just all max out at ninety-nine. Let's exactly, just go right? nuts. <laughs> Dear Lord, let's all just get twenty everything. It would, it would honestly probably be pretty fun because we'd be super overpowered. You would be, but there's still <laughs> ways to stop you. I mean, if I if I move my strength up to ten two, it'll give me a plus zero modifier oh. instead of a negative one. Because <laughs> I have an eight charisma, I'm not trying to raise that. <laughs> I'll leave it up to you guys. I'm okay either way with it. Um. I'm Looking at his, I feel like it's <laughs> only fair. fair. What's that? Looking at I his numbers. I can bump numbers, mine down if you want me to. Well, 14, 14, 15. It's plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 4. And mine would be plus 0, plus 0, plus 1, plus 1, plus oh, 2, plus... Oh, this turned a whole mess, didn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> Shouldn't have gave David that 18. <laughs> I already had five better stats than me, and then you gave him seven. I'm sorry. I just, I just don't want a negative one. I want us all to be even. I don't mind being plus zero. I just don't want to be a negative one. Seven points below. I have a negative two. It's not that big of a deal. A negative two? No, I have a negative like you do. Oh, as well. My charisma is negative. Yeah, as well. I have a negative. So should I bump myself down? You just have all like. You're like Dark Wolf or something. <laughs> I have two tens. I... That's Just fair. Saying, I have an That's eight fair. and two tens. And you're sitting here like, I got a 14, a 13, an 18, a 15. It's like, okay. That's why I was wondering That's if... Uh, That's we... cool. <laughs> we could I don't really it. care. <laughs> like, but I mean... If... That's why I was wondering, yeah. I just, no, I didn't want to be better. You're you definitely you better. Chance. Yeah, but I wanted to be like the best. I just wanted to be. You were mad being the worst statted, and now you're way ahead of us. I can bump Come down. on, bro. <laughs> oh, Come on. I just wanted to be closer to the other group. Like I, I want us all. That's not how D and D works. <laughs> That's fair. First, you had the worst, and then you rolled the best. <laughs> That's how D and D works. That's fair. Fear. There probably will be ways for you guys to get re-roll in your stats. I mean, I know there will be. It's just for now. What? I'll let you both <laughs> increase the plus two on something. If you guys want You're to. Just Please. one Please. thing? On something on a low one, if you want to. How or many you stats can... are you adding? I want to add the same amount two. as you're yeah. adding. And, and two the same for everybody. Well, I yeah. put two on yeah, can, my eight, like, so bring that up to ten, two, two. and then two on my higher one. So you're adding four. four stats. So, so you, you would add four then, Fubar. You yeah. have so four I, I need to get four as well. Then yeah, I'm yeah you have, okay. You okay. four cool. anywhere. There we go. That just, yeah, it just took away my negative one, which was kind of all I was really hoping for. I don't care. I just want to... Make it even. Yeah, I'm, At I'm least thinking, more, yeah. You know, more even. If she wants yeah. to add four, I want to add four. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm fully okay with that. Four Sounds in, good. You can, Jackie, put four anywhere. I feel yeah, like four totally is well. doable. Yeah. Like, I'm cool with getting my charisma up, too, and then... Honestly, 
you had a life changing experience anyway, so yeah, that's that's the reason why you were able to change things around right there now. There we go. That makes sense. Cause see, I'm you not, really I'm have... still not overpowered. It yeah, puts no. a lot of points into a couple of things that aren't really going to be used much, unless I put myself put in those David situations. Three extra points ahead of me. Yeah, I can go down. I mean, that's. Three. It's, no, you're it's good, whatever. David. Oh, I'm just saying, it's better than like, like seven. <laughs> with, That's within, fair. Like, like within like five, uh, five to ten is a normal. Okay. Because I actually have I have a, a standard for like roles for everyone, and everyone was in that except for your character pretty much beforehand. <laughs> this was he didn't even this roll. Is... No, his was a pregen. That's why his, yeah, his was a pregen there. Mm. That would explain it. Yeah. You had ten. Like an like an average pre roll. Mm -hmm. See, this is why it's not a good thing. We should not be looking at each other's numbers. This is why this doesn't work. You can't just be right. there and look like <laughs> Cause then it just turns into bickering. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a little like, bit. It's not fair. I'm not as strong as you. Yeah, no, yeah. I It's not even being as strong as him, it's being so much weaker. <laughs> We'll tell better jokes and still, suck that old dude off! He's no. <laughs> still yeah, got more points than me, but no. now I feel like I'm not quite so disadvantaged. No, I'm, I'm all for being as even as possible. Yeah. That's fine. I, yeah. I don't, I don't want to be like oh, right. super even, but I don't want to be so far behind. <laughs> Bye, chat! <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the <that> entire thing. <laughs>